Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the KO 1.0 News Desk here at the Varsity Club in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. This is Dale Little Chatter Lorenz, and that guy right there is the one and only. Everybody in the state of Wisconsin knows him from pool. It is Al the Hitman Holden. What's going on, Al? Not too much, Dale. Great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, it's fantastic to have you here. You know, and we got a lot of history that we're going to talk about throughout the broadcast. Yeah, we sure do. Um, we've got uh, one of our friends. Obviously, we've we grew up a long time ago playing against Dumper Dan. Yeah. Um, but as I've said a million times before, we are non-biased in the booth. And his opponent tonight is Mr. Jesse Crook from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And this is the last match of round number three. So, loser goes home with $175. Winner goes on to the final four, the semifinals. This is good shit. Yeah, this is going to be great. This is, <laughs> this is exciting. Yeah. So, and this, and this setup is, I mean, this tournament is, and just the, the way that you run it and everything else is just amazing. And to give people a chance to get out here and uh, showcase what they can do and uh, have a little bit of uh, competition and uh, get a little bit of sweat too. I mean, <laughs> you, you, sweat, you sweat these games. You, even at home, we're you know watching these games, people are sweating them. So it's a great setup and it's a great time. So hopefully we'll have a good time again tonight. Thank you all. Much appreciated. Yeah, it's been a very fun ride so far, if you couldn't tell. We've been having a blast in the booth. The players have been having a great time out on the tables. Um, and I expect it to be that way for, and we'll talk about that in a little bit too. But uh, KO Challenge 2.0 is about to start, and we're going to talk in actually great detail in that tonight, aside from the match that's already going on. So, without further ado, Al, I'm going to have you move your microphone in just a little bit closer so All they right. can hear you. There we go. How's Fantastic. That? Everybody, and we always ask, and it's honestly, it's for the viewers. You're out there. Let us know in the chat how we sound. We already know that uh, the commentary is going to be crap, and you know that's to be fully expected. You know that's that's why we are the best mediocre commentary there is. So, but we want to see how the uh, visual is. So let us know how it looks and everything. That's the reason why. But do do. -do. We got Al Jordan in the comments here. I'll bet he's got a drink for us already. I can Does he? That's what he has. <laughs> <laughs> Fong is out there. Trevor Simpson. So thanks, guys. Hey, Michael Misevich. Misevich. Nice. Misevich. Yes. Uh, All right. I am going to get out there and have the players lag, and uh, then you're stuck with Al for just a second. Okay. All right. So. Uh, depending upon what uh, what happens here, the person who wins the leg will be have their choice. Uh, if you haven't seen us before, so um, it'll be a, either eight ball, nine ball, or ten ball. Uh, there's a, a like a roulette wheel that uh, they will uh, spin to see who or what game they play, and from there they'll uh, get it on. Uh, depending upon what game it is, it'll determine what. Uh, what the race is to, um, usually uh, eight ball and ten ball are to eight. Uh, nine ball is to nine usually. So these guys are pretty close in Fargo. Usually, if there's a thirty point of his a thirty point split or more, then they uh, then they'll maybe spot a game. But this is close enough that there won't be any spot tonight. So we'll uh, go from there. And here we go with the leg. And it looks like Jesse won the leg. And then we'll spin the wheel here. And here we go. Dan's looking for eight ball. And it's ten ball. All right. Not a big crowd, but a nice crowd here at Varsity Club tonight. Got some people watching, cheering on both players here, so should be a good match. Uh, 
And as I said, well, it should be a at ten ball. It should be a race to eight. And Dale just going over some general information here. Trying to figure out what rules we're going to play by probably. Whether they maybe want to play a three foul rule. I know sometimes they uh, will use a magic rack to rack the balls or go with the wooden rack depending upon what the players decide on. So we'll wait and see. So going over all the rules there, I guess Dale was. Here's conference here. I like this. It's Dumper Dan and it'll be good. I'll swing the camera over there, see who's bloody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy it'll be me, but I carry a razor blade in my pocket. Oh yeah! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. That was so much fun. Yeah, I'll be bloody because I'm like Chuck Cecil, like carry a razor blade. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like it's another evening of 10 ball. Fantastic, which makes it a race to eight. I think Al already told everybody that, right? Yeah, I was going over that. I figured you went out there and probably went over some rules and everything. Uh, did they uh, decide on what they were going to do as far as maybe... Uh, no three foul rule. No three foul rule. Uh, no early tens, other than I mean, obviously, if you call a combo or whatever else on the ten ball, that does count. Right. But no ten ball in the break. Um, of course, rack your own, just like any other. Okay. So. And I see they decided to go with uh, wood rack as opposed to the magic yep. rack. No magic rack. Oh, pre preferably, if I if I had to choose, I would choose a magic rack. I think it makes a a little bit quicker game because um, I think you pocket more balls on. With the magic rack versus the regular rack, a t for me anyway, ten ball break is tough. Oh, I, I think ten ball break is rough for anybody unless you're, you're unless you're a pro, pro or something. You know, you saw Tyler Steyer down here and him and Margaret hitting them before, and uh, I mean that's you know you gotta you gotta have that so you're practicing your break all the time to be able to do that. You know, for and, sure. And on a on a seven foot bar box, it's it's even. Uh, harder because you got so many balls banging into each other they're going to the pockets and don't because they get banged into so. without a doubt all right thank everybody for all the likes and the shares and everything else already holy cow much appreciated all the viewers just about everybody is. Oh, we got. Yeah, walk right through. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Well, somebody needs their food, you know. That's, that, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Some people don't know. It's all good. Yeah. I got a couple people in here Valerie and Joni saying, let's go, Jesse. Uh, Al Jordan, you ready? You ready? Let's get. It on. Okay, there we go. Wow, chat is filled up tonight. Yeah. Sam Hooley, what's going on, Sam? No doubt, Al Jordan. Yep, I don't know if uh, Al went over these. I'm going to go over it again, though. Uh, it is the final countdown. There are five players left after tonight, just to give everybody an idea. If you are interested in what's going to happen next, it is going to be the redraw for the final four. So, oh, very nice. Good hit by Dan. Yeah. And he did leave Jesse a shot. I don't know if it's going to be an easy one. Mm -hmm. He could pocket the one. He's going to have to drift forward a little bit for the two. Uh, the, the, hard, the hard part's going to be getting down here and trying to figure out what's going to happen with that cluster, the six, seven, eight. That's, no doubt. That's definitely going to be a tricky situation. What, what, what does it look like there, Al? Can, uh, does it look like he can pocket the one? Yeah. He, does it I go think, past the three? Yeah, the one looks like it go go in the corner or the side. Oh, plenty yeah, of room. Plenty of room. Got an angle on the two ball here to come out and get a good angle on the three. So, looking good. Balls are all plenty for everybody, though. 
What's going on, Trevor? Michael Masevich, new countdown clock looks great with the flip logos. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Whatever, Michael. He's, you know, that all of a sudden he's been in the booth like three, four times. He's a professional. Right. You know? Yeah, well, that's, yeah. that's true. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the one thing you need we, would be an idea for next time. Oh, look at this. Two for one. Well, yeah, wonderful shot. And still got a shot in three. Mm -hmm. um, would maybe be a shot clock when, when needed. You know, and that's been talked about a couple of times in the chat. Um, it's it hasn't been an issue other than one night. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and we're not. <laughs> and we all know we're about not, that. Yeah, yeah. we're not going to discuss that at all. That's done and over with. Um, but that was honestly the only night that I think it would have been really put into play. Right. Uh, most of these guys have been pretty. You know, Dan shoots pretty quick. Jesse shoots. Fong shoots really quick. Yeah. And the other two remaining players are, they're both pretty quick players as well. Right. Michael Misevich, he doesn't take any time. No. So, yeah. which is why he shoots the way he does. Uh, you know? do you, oh, uh, very nice. Very nice break. You know, uh, the six are ended up bad, but maybe uh, maybe a little run through here on the, on the five ball. Kiss the nine, maybe get a shot. I think the only way he can do that is to play the five off the eight, though. I think that'll so. give him the perfect angle to get through. I don't know because it yeah, looks, looks like the angle is going away from the yeah, it looks the nine kind of straight. Yeah, that's a tough shot, especially yeah. it's first game of the match. Well, do you think about uh, maybe playing a safe here? Roll up on the nine after uh, play the five off the eight and just lay it on up in the short rail. It's, uh, yeah, if he plays the five off the eight and it goes in, then he has to no, shoot but again. You play the other side of the eight and you oh, roll that up on the nine. Yeah, I don't, I don't like mind this. that at all. I lean it a little more. Yep, but that's, you know, he, he, he left him a, sh uh, a hit, but it's not really a good shot, so. Mm-hmm. And it, <laughs> making the ball and trying to break out the six here would be really tough, so. Avery Hooley, what's going on? Al Jordan won an eight ball. Fred Dodge, what is going on, Fred? Um, and he did say he's got a lot of confidence in Jesse. I'll tell you what, there's nobody in the city of Oshkosh other than, I think, Jim Reese and maybe one or two other players that is putting in more time on their game than Jesse Crook. He is down here all the time. And, you know, it, it says 508 Fargo. I promise you, it's not. <laughs> He's playing way above that. Yeah, and Jesse plays good. Emily Schmidt says, looking forward to a good match. I'm sorry, I'm just catching up with everybody here. Wisconsin Pool Player Society, that, everybody, if you don't already know, is one of my newest sponsors, Mr. Andy Coons, and his wife, Bobby Jo Coons, who, well, um, Andy started Wisconsin Pool Player Society, which just eclipsed 10,000 members wow, about a month awesome. ago, which, congratulations, yeah, uh, it's, really. the, it's the best... I mean, between Wisconsin Pool Players Society and John Kramer's uh, Wisconsin Billiards Hall of Fame website, it's the best place to either chat with fellow pool players or to promote your own venue or tournament or whatever it is that sell cues. Uh, I don't think we don't allow that anymore, but anyway. Right. Um, so um, Bobby Joe just started her own so you're going to see a black logo up there that's spinning, uh, and it says Home Sweet Home. So uh, I believe they're down in the Wapan area. Wait, no. no. You're you're from Wapan. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to think of where they live right now. I'd have to go back and look at her bio real quick. Um, but she just started. So if you're in the real estate market or whatever, give Bobby Joe a call. Right there, right there it is. There's the phone number. Thank you, Fred Renner. Liked and shared to my groups and what? Facebook feed. No way. Fred Renner yeah, did that. Yeah, Fred's a good guy. She's a... F he's got to be to put up with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Uh, that's, he's not lying, is he, Fred? Yeah. <laughs> Fong, says, Fong says the sound uh, chat sounds good. Yeah. Wapan. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. So if you are in the Wapan area and you're looking for a new home or a place to a new place to live 
Contact Bobby Joe. And if you're in the Wapon area and you are looking to play a little bit of pool, just uh, contact Al the Hitman Holden. Yeah, He's sitting right next there. to me. Right. There. There we go. Yeah. So here he is. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, gentlemen <laughs> and ladies, thank you for tuning in. All right, Jesse pocketing the five ball and left himself with good shape on the six. He's going to have to probably go twice across if he's going to want to play the seven. I would try to play the seven in the upper right-hand pocket. Yeah. Just uh, like this is going to bounce well hard. Ooh, we got it. Shot, yeah. That's a good shot. Yeah, it's wonderful. As everybody knows, when you're playing on the stream table, even if it's the first time or the 50th time, it's always hardest to win that first game. Wow. And you're talking about a setup here where, you know, you're going home after this, so the pressure's on with that, too. So it's True story. It's not uh, never easy. True story. And... We all hit them bad. We all hit them good. You know, it's, I've never hit them bad. Uh, well, I, yeah, I understand that. It's, you know, we've seen that. We've seen that on the stream for sure. Uh, but I, I have, I have days myself where I, where I play like a eight hundred, and days I play like a three hundred. So oh yeah, it's, you know, no doubt. We all have those days. I don't know if I like this shot. I don't know if I like that to get to I think I would have tried to play that a little bit differently. Yeah. This is kind of a funny angle he's got already. Yeah. Manageable. Don't get me wrong. No. Nope. It is definitely manageable. As long as you don't come off the rail too much. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Out. Oh my gosh. Wow. That what a gift. So what a gift take. for Dan. That's what a gift for Dan, but I, I can feel for Jesse sitting over there in that chair. Without a doubt. That's that you, and you do all the hard work. Yeah. And uh give up bowl in hand. He, play, he played that he played that rack pretty pretty well. It was like you said, a little bad shape. He had to force the force the cue ball and wanted to get down there and probably tried to play a little too good a shape. And uh that'll happen. We all do that. But all right, one Dan, to nothing, Dan. Dan went to get the first glove there. Glove? What? Oh, what glove? Oh, well, what glove, do you, what a glove are you talking wouldn't about? Wouldn't it be a knockout glove? Oh, one of those uh, things. You know what? I think I might even have one. Yeah, somewhere here. Cool. Yeah. So are we having all the cameras working tonight? Oh, we sure <laughs> are. Uh, do we have the, oh, re yeah. Do we have the replay working tonight? Oh, we do. Okay. We do. All right. Just wondering. I I know we've had problems with that in the past. So. Yeah, it, you know, honestly, it's, it's there's a lot of other things that I wanted to make sure that I got done first, and I've been putting it off, putting it off because I tried. So, to give you an idea, every time that I have to put up one of those gloves, it's like four clicks, five clicks on a mouse. Okay. So, a good streamer which I'm not, obviously, right. everybody knows that, is you have shortcuts right here on this little stream deck. So I've been trying, here, I'll, if you look at that, Al, see, there's the blue. I know you can't see this at home, everybody. I'm Okay. And I can't get them to work. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's up there now. So, so. I got I to gotta do it manually. Yeah, yeah. It's all good, though. It's fun. This has been a fun ride, I'm telling you. And it just gets better from here. I mean, Let me ask you a question, Al. You and I have known each other for 35 years, so at least. Something like that. Yeah, it's been a long time. So if I would have told you 35 years ago when we were playing at Sly's on a Friday oh. night that you and I were going to be sitting in a booth together in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, talking. <laughs> <laughs> Never would have thought it. And I'll tell you what. Talking that, about back, cool. back in the day when me and Dale first met, we were competitors. We were not friends. We actually hated each other. We were. We were. <laughs> and, and, and we used to... Uh, Go through some wild stuff when we played each other, and between uh, arguing calls and uh, bad tempers, and, and yeah, we all we all have those, you know. But uh, Dale and I have uh, been friends here for a long time now, and uh, 
it's you know, it's a pool community. You know, you're gonna have you're gonna have people you run into that you never thought you would. I mean, you talk about Sly's uh, Midtown Saloon in Sheboygan. I mean, we we had a nine ball tournament there every Friday night. And the uh, players that would show up were not just local players. Oh, my players. God. Randy Lamar uh, and Bill Milkey. Oh, my God. And Jeff Brown came up from Milwaukee. Uh, yeah, and, oh, my gosh. I, I, I remember uh, Willie Munson being there once. Oh, and, yeah. And that's, you know. And, and Good times. It, it, was, it was a small little bar, but we had, we had a nice setup there where we had four or five tables we played on. And yeah. it, was a, it was a good time. I think everybody had a good time. So it was. Oh, yeah. Was, the best of times was down in the basement after. <laughs> All right, moving yeah, right along. Well, we won't right talk about that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We're not going to uh, talk about that. Uh, here's Dan kick it, trying to kick it to one ball and gets a nice hit. Oh, oh and yeah, sure he didn't ball. call it. I'm sure he didn't call that, yeah. Oh. He did? <gasps> oh, hey. That's amazing. Maybe, maybe, wow. he, maybe, maybe, he played, maybe he played it on a combination and got lucky on the kick. Good call. Yeah. Good it's, call. It's. Yeah. That's thinking ahead. Yeah, it's a and has a great, great shape on the one. Yeah, and if honestly, if it does, if it gets a little too ugly, he could potentially play this two ten combo. Yeah, that's there's a shot there if you if you want to take. I mean, Fred Runner says I wouldn't have it any other way be either, buddy. So Fred is my favorite go-to person when it comes to pickled asparagus ah, and yes. salsa. I'm telling you, there's uh, he has the best ditch weed this uh, north of the border, yeah. and that's the border of Illinois, uh, not Mexico. All right. So every year Fred has graced me with his. He's got corn and everything in his salsa, and I'm like, oh my, it's just oh. fabulous, Sounds fabulous. Good. Sounds good. And we've heard the stories about the salsa, so. Good stuff. Bong says, should be Hill Hill game. That's, we, we would like that just for the stream, you know. Without we, a doubt. We, we, we love it when it goes Hill Hill. It's more exciting. It's uh, Players don't want to see it go Hill no, Hill. But. No, nobody <laughs> does, but it, it, uh, it, it makes the attention just a little bit better and uh, – not not for the players necessarily, but for us and the viewers. So, you know the fun thing about this, Al sitting in the booth has been, you really start to feel or you get into the players what their guts are feeling and what their, what's going on in their head. Because I mean, you can literally feel the stress and the tension. You know, they're only six feet away from us, and it's it's been fun. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I mean, we're sweating the action right along with them. Yeah. You know, so. It's a well, good time. Well, you know, we do that when we play, you know, ourselves. You know, we, we the same thing we're doing here in the booth. Everybody does when you're out there playing. You're you're sitting there trying to think the way your opponent's going to think and what they're going to be doing and what they're going to maybe possibly leave you or no something doubt. like that. So it's it's hard. He's, uh, Dan's got a, got a tough thought here on the four ball. Al, do you know that goofball in the chat down there at the bottom? That goofball in the do you know that guy? I'm looking. Where am I looking here? Hard. Oh, yes, I know that guy. Go <laughs> Dumper, he says. Oh, <laughs> Dumper tried to call the, call the five, tried to make it. Uh, didn't leave Jesse. Probably nothing but a combination here. So, Timmy Stockinger, how you doing there, buddy? Talking about old times uh, back in in the day with Timmy Stockinger and the leagues and stuff. And yeah, we went from uh, Sly's Midtown to Saloon, and then uh, Josh Josh Mertzig opened up Scores. Yeah. Yep. Uh, actually, prior to that was uh, Downtown Club. Yeah. George Canal. Yep. Yep. Holy cow! Yeah, those were the days. We too, were giving man. away trips to Hawaii. Right. For that tournament. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, I remember that tournament. Big <laughs> player big players, a lot of money and good stuff. A lot of good times there. Everybody played some really good pool. That was a The best hair in oh. the state of Wisconsin was oh. there for that. Oh. The best hair of all. And, and we're Tim about Senna. That. Oh Tim Timmy Senna, yeah. Oh Timmy, he's yeah. he's got better hair than anybody else oh, on the planet. Yeah. Well it's, it's, it's ne never a hair out of place, you know, Timmy. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but we had uh we had fun uh, 
I was going over to uh, Timmy's basement, Tim Sock. And oh, basement. yeah. We played it, played over on his nine foot yeah. in the basement. Barb loved it when we were there. Oh, yeah. She, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But we never spent a lot of time there. No, I mean, just no. just enough to wear out our wel- welcome. Yeah, yeah, did that plenty of times. Yeah, yeah, she did. She didn't kick us out, but she let she let Timmy know that's about time. And then go. I think we got to get ready for a replay here, Al. All right, we're going airborne, folks. Here we go. Jesse with a jump shot in the five, and he called it in the upper right hand corner. So he's playing the jump bank. I, I want to see him make it just to see if the replay works. Oh, it's a good effort. Good effort. That might still go off to 10. <gasps> oh! Look at this! <laughs> now that would have been funny. That would have been amazing, yeah. And the shot on the, the six you yeah. had, yeah. Four rails off the 10. Right, yeah. Well, you know. Who, who doesn't play it that it's way? It's not, not, not like nine ball, but hey, if you're going to hit it off the 10, maybe you, had, you know, maybe you had planned on that, you know, you never know. Yep, right. It's, as long as it goes in the hole you can call, that's all that matters. Oh! Just looking at it on replay. All right, so a little straight on the six here. Draw back ten inches or so for a seven in the upper right hand corner. What do we got here? Wisconsin Pool Player Society says Wapan. Wapan is a little town just uh, about 20 miles south of Fond du Lac. Uh, little town, don't have a lot of pool down there. There's no pool hall, but uh, we have a little bit of pool league down there that I play in and stuff just to keep my stroke up, but it's a nice little town. So Dumper came, out, came up... Uh a little bit cheddar on this one here. Uh, he, uh, that was more of a stop shot than uh, well, if it's, the draw stroke that he needed. I think he's going to have to go three rails for this one. Yeah. Well, you know, if you come up a little bit cheddar, you always always stinks a little bit. So it's you know. <laughs> and that's Al Hitman holding there. This is his first and last time ever commentating. So give well, it. <laughs> We'll we'll see what the, we'll, we'll see see what the co- comments say. You know. All right, that's yeah. Fair enough. Let's let's see what our viewers say. Should we keep them or should we get rid of them? <laughs> Amber Leary says, "Jesse, you got this. Come back." Al Jordan says, we'll "Yeah, good. Center, yeah, good." He said. Uh, He's a good turd. Yeah. I think that's what he said, right? Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, I really never like Fong anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fong is one of the best guys when it comes to just having a good time and playing some pool. You know, and you talk about a he's a fabulous tournament de- director up at Matt Apple. Yes, he you is. know, he does a great job up there. Also, you know, he's been in the knockout challenge. He's one he's one of the final four. Yep. And you couldn't find anybody better with sportsmanship and camaraderie to you know with his fellow players or opponents he's just a good all-around dude yeah he is he's, he's always always there you if, if you need anything any any questions he's he's there whenever you need to have a ter- turn up tournament director do what they're supposed to do you know he's he's always there to help out and uh, be on the spot he's uh, calls the matches quickly and uh, mm-hmm. just keeps everything rolling. And uh, when it comes to pool, he definitely keeps things rolling because, like you said earlier, he's plays fairly quickly. So yeah, yeah here we go with Jesse. Oh, he did call the lower left, um, and he is going to leave Dumper with a pretty easy three ball out here. Yeah, this, uh, we don't ever want to give the commentators curse, especially this early. I don't but, believe in it. But don't believe in it. Okay. It's, uh, Although I, I've done it to many players. I, I still don't believe I, it. I, I understand that. I have to blame them instead of myself. Uh, so, 
Uh, the question from Joni K, where's Little Cheddar? I'm right here, Joni. This is me. I'll tell you what. Here. Dan's making up his mind. He's still not shooting, so. See the shirt? Right. Oh, and right there's my older points. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> my apologies, everybody, uh, and I'm sorry for uh, everybody on YouTube. And, uh, uh, because if... We're probably going to get shut down. Uh, the people Most likely. from YouTube will be calling. Oh, yeah. Huh? Eh. So Dan's uh, got a happens angle here on the nine ball and should be able to just roll up, play one rail out. I, I play one rail out with some left hand spin. Yeah. Yeah. Even even just a little top, you'll be all right. Even if you, if you had a little bit of angle on ten, as long as you're not don't come up short. Yeah. Like somebody we know. My daughter? Ah. Speaking Baby Cheddar, of, you mean? Speaking of. Oh, yeah. I, I I knew that's what Joni was talking about. Uh, yeah, Baby yeah, Cheddar. I was going to say, we haven't seen her in the, in the chat I'm here guessing she is probably doing her homework. Oh, okay. She better be. All right, that is two to nothing in favor of Mr. Dan Welch. All right. A.K.A. Dumper Dan. Yeah. And the reason I point that out is... You're going to see on the scrolling logos at the very top of the screen. Well, let me do this instead. Uh, then you can see from the break cam, uh, Dumper Dan's is probably next, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, uh, no. Let's find out. Here there. it comes. Here it comes. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at there. It I, it. I might it's, have put this together myself. It's like you knew it was coming. <laughs> Best. Yeah. Best charter fisherman on the entire Lake Michigan. Um, and throws one hell of a party for the pool oh, players every he, year. He does. What I, a blast that was. Um, so if you ever just remember that name, Dumper Dan's, because uh, he is, he's the guy to go and talk to up in Sheboygan. Dan does, if you want to do some salmon fishing. Dan doesn't just do a great job on the boat. He's got all kinds of stuff down there. He's got uh, rental properties that you can stay at. He's got a store down there where you can buy... Uh, equipment or all kinds of stuff out down mm -hmm. there. So Dan just does a wonderful job. He started out with one, one, boat. Or, one boat and now he's up to seven. Seven. I yeah. yeah. Started out, I think, when he was 19. Yeah, he's been doing it a And long now he's time. 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 20, <laughs> 20 plus years in, maybe. maybe <laughs> I think I know he's younger than I am. I don't know about you guys in age wise, but. Um, I got him by a year, I think. Okay. Or he's got me by... I know Tim's got me by a couple of years. Yeah. I, not that he's listening or anything yeah. and, and might have heard that. Or right, any, uh, right, right. You know, uh, we're talking Tim Stockinger. Timmy Stockinger, yeah. yeah, yeah well, <laughs> fun, fun fact, uh, and, I'm not, and I'm not biased in any way. I, I wish both these players good luck, but uh, I, I, I do have a little heart for Dan here just simply because... Uh, Speaking of Timmy Stockinger, him and Timmy Stockinger both stood up in my wedding. So, um, as a matter of fact, at the I remember the pictures of that. At the reception after the after the wedding, we were all having a good time. We announced for the first time when that his wife Jenny was pregnant with their son. So, uh oh, yeah, their first child. So that was yeah. He didn't. He, he had told us prior and he didn't know that I was going to say anything. I think he was probably a little <laughs> mad at me at the time. But, uh, it was uh, good stuff. Yeah, so Jesse scratched here. On yeah, I don't understand. I, I don't know if he... I, I don't remember if that was the first shot after the break, right? If he yeah, called I, called safe or... Yeah, uh, well, either way, this is, this is Dan's first real opportunity at an entire rack. Right. Exactly. You know, yeah. the first two Jesse has kind of let slip away from him. So we're going to completely ignore Michael Misevich for the rest of the night, Al Holden. Um, uh, okay. Let's see. So, well, Baby Cheddar isn't in the chat, so she can't really say a whole lot about it. Um, but apparently we're still going to go on the, you know, go along with the uh, derelict dad that I am, and I don't feed my kids and everything else. So, right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get it. We, I get it. Yeah. So, um, 
Joni said, uh, yes, the family commentating, two thumbs up, much appreciated. Al Jordan's got to leave us. Oh, All right, see you, Al. Oh, he'll probably be back, I'm sure. No, I think he said uh, he's got to go. Yeah, uh, yeah, he said he'll watch later, not oh. enough hours in the day. Oh, okay, yeah, well, he'll be back in the, in the chat again with uh, <laughs> the tournament later, I'm sure, so... Trevor Simpson says uh, he wants a payment for mental anguish. Well, I can understand that, Trevor, having to listen to Dale so much. I, I hey, everybody has a remote somewhere near them right now. You are more than welcome to hit the mute button. Just have at it. Yeah, right. I, I, it's not, it is not going to hurt my feelings. I'm still going to sit here and talk to myself. <laughs> or I'll talk to Al or whatever. I don't care. Uh, it doesn't mean I'll listen, but uh, I guess, yeah. well, you know. We'll have somebody that you'll be able to listen to, whether it be Dale uh -oh. or me, but, oh, I don't know. You know, and what's kind of going on here, and I think it's the pressure that's getting to both of the players, but they each one of them had ball in hand on the first ball and did not get shape on the next ball. And what's even worse is this is going to be a really tough hit for Jesse. I mean, he can come from the backside of the nine and avoid that and you know, there's a good chance that Dumper's going to have a shot here. Yeah. And by Dumper, I say, I mean, Dan. Oh, looking for the jump cue again. Oh, we're going vertical. I don't like this shot at all. No, not at all. you got so many balls to go out. I, I do not like oh, this. Oh, unless, unless he's going for the jump bank again and going over to over to 610 there or somewhere in that area. Oh, no, he's going this way. He has to get he has to hit right over this and ball. land right on top of the three ball. Wow. This is tough. Need a drum roll yeah, I, I don't think even a professional would attempt this. this is, yeah. I would definitely be kicking at this before jumping. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, he hit it. He got it on the way back. Yeah. Did he call it in the side? Could be. <laughs> he I, got, I don't think it I don't think it looked He got away with it too. But maybe he was playing that. It's could be. That's impressive. Amber Leary says, "Here is your bottle." <laughs> Who is she talking? <laughs> Who's she talking to, Al? That's, I don't think it's me. <laughs> Explain yourself, Amber. <laughs> Trevor Simpson, I agree. Can't mute the uh, visual on your outer points. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I apologized for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but so you, but you if, can't get that out of your <laughs> mind, you know. It's just so by show of hands in the chat. Um, how many people do not know the story of how Outer Point Streaming got its name? And be honest, if you've never heard it, I'll tell the story. Oh, look at this! Water. And he's gonna scratch. Oh, no. oh my oh, gosh! What a Wow, what a kick shot. That is rude as hell. Yeah. I tell you what, the pool gods yeah. are not or not with Dan on that one because that was one hell of a kick. Yeah, you don't you don't play on that kiss off the nine, but wow. And like you said, everybody everybody's, you know, just playing what they got and getting a little unlucky here. So. Oh, Jesse's going uh -oh. he's going for the knockout punch in this game. Well, you're down two two already, you know, in the race to eight. It's Going for the two ten combo in the side. That looks pretty straight in. Yeah, not a bad choice. There you yeah. go. Oh, don't follow him. Okay. Uh, all, right. all right. That is two to one. Two to one. I think they're probably both glad uh, that rack is over. <laughs> I think you're right, actually. <laughs> they're both over here laughing a little bit about that, but so so. Here's the difference, um, and I had mentioned it earlier. So, wow. uh, the defeated goes home with $175. The winner of this match is guaranteed $400, a shirt, and an opportunity to play in the finals. So, this means a ton for these guys. Yep. And it, this tournament has been going on for two months. We started out with 32 players. Each one of these guys has played two matches. or I'm sorry, yeah, two matches. This is 
third match for each one of them. Yep. That's why it's called round three. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was really good at geology. Yeah, geology. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Justine Smith is in the house as well, um, and that is the wife of that Michael Masevich guy. Well, Michael, we know you. You put a hand up, but we know that you've had know about outer points, obviously. Yeah. Um, so Joni K has not heard. Justine has not heard, I, which I find to be untruthful. Justin but Smith says, "I would love to hear about your outer points." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Like if people sit back and listen. I will. I will address that. Um, in a little while. Yep, between between racks maybe. Correct. <laughs> Dan trying to figure out. Probably position on the two to get to the three. Yep. I think that four four is gonna be the hard the three to the four I think is probably gonna be the hardest to get to in well, this rack. I'll tell you what. And that's a good shot, but I think I probably would have, uh, depending, I can't. I think he's going to have to go around the eight. Oh, I, I, I'm looking at the other angle now. It, he didn't have, I was worried about the six being in the way at first, but it, there's plenty of room there. So I would have, if the six would have been in the way, I would have rolled down off the one to play the six out of the way. Yep, for sure. Play the two up in the corner and over to the three, but he's still got a good angle here to get over to the three. Just float up to the top rail with a little bit of high right uh, left hand English and come off behind the eight. Sam Hooley says, good game, Jesse. And Andy Koontz was, says, when are we going to have a sponsors only tournament? What a fabulous idea. I like that idea. Yeah. Sponsors only. And I've got, okay, careful what you wish for. Um, Andy, because you know one of the sponsors because he's part of Wisconsin Pool Players Society. So John Kramer is going to come up here. <laughs> yeah. And he's, he's yeah. going to put a whooping on some people. I'll guarantee it. Definitely. Uh, let's see who else we have sponsor. Oh, Matt Strong. Yeah. Okay. There's a real another tough competitor. I think he's a 657 Fargo. You got Rich Stadler, who doesn't play a whole lot anymore. You know what? I'll tell you here. I'll tell you what, as long as Dan is not made up his mind yet, we'll let him shoot this shot, and then we'll figure out. I like that idea, Andy. Okay. Well, Missed it, and yeah, left Jesse with a little bit of a shot. All right, so we'd have Jeremy West would be in the field, John Kramer. Dan Asher. Uh Riley or Joe Pichauer or Steve Douglas. I don't think Steve B Douglas played. Uh, Autumn Grisella all the way from California. I don't know if she's going to come out and play. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, my nephew Cody, he plays a little bit. He's not bad. Probably about a 525 Fargo. Matt Strong, of course. And then Dumper Dan, Rich and Stu Sue Stadler. Uh, Maynard Hebert, uh Andy, Bobby Joe. Does your wife play at all? And then Brent Lucas, who was just knocked out last week. So right. that would be a fun tournament. Yeah. And what a great segue, Andy, for me to mention all of my sponsors. <laughs> Absolutely and, love it. And say, hey guys, we're we're keeping you going here. You know. Maybe, I'll tell you what. Maybe, if it wasn't for this spend, list of people, maybe spend a little more money. Maybe. All right. Yeah, you know. It, they may not like me for saying that, but... They may not. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. There's a lot of things that I say that oh, people don't like me for. There. Just ask Lisa. Oh, just hit the outer point there. All right. Looks like a stop shot on the three. Maybe draw it back just a smidge. Roll the four down past the six. Shape on the five. Rest is basic pool. Yeah. Well, you got you to gotta get from the... If you do a little... little, little Stun shot there on the four, possibly. You get a good angle on the five, but you got to be careful coming back between the seven and ten there. I like that idea, Andy. Mm hmm. First, I have to get through the next 15 knockout challenges because there's. This has seemed to garner a lot of momentum and a lot of eyes across several states. 
Um, and I think I'm going to have to be doing this a lot. I believe I'm going to have to be doing, and I want to. I, I don't have to, but I absolutely have loved how much attention this has gotten. Um, but there's going to be a women's knockout challenge. Wonderful. And I also want to do, I might be working with uh, a couple of other fellas that are going to be helping me do a junior knockout. Wonderful. Yeah. A lot so of good junior players. I really want to do a junior knockout challenge. And what I'd like to do is send one of those kids on uh, a, a really, you know, like a, a big tournament and pay their entry fee and, you know, something to give them, you know, something really to shoot for. So, and one of the things, too, as long as Dan's shooting here and figuring out his angle, you know, I've got a projector coming that we're going to be doing the, um, it was the, it's called the big break. And um, I want to get, there's 12 players that are in it. Wait, 10, 12? I can't remember. 12, I think. Um, and that's going to be a skills challenge. So, like, remember Target Pool that yep. we used to play at yep. Jeff Catches yeah, all the time? Yeah. So, on that project, you know, it's the um, projection billiards or projection pro billiards. Yeah, so you project an image on the table. Yep. Uh, and you'll have spots where the balls go and the target. Yep. And the player has to figure out a way to get the ball closest to the bullseye on the target. And the closer you get to the center of the target, the more points you get. Yep. So it's, uh, yeah. That, that game was invented by Kim Davenport back in the 70s or 80s. I think it was the 80s. And uh, I actually still have mine in the basement somewhere. Um, but anyway, that's one of the, it's a great teaching tool for kids. Um, and that's, I want to incorporate that into the big break challenge um, and use that for uh, the winner gets an entry into the Derby City Classic. And that's a, a great teaching tool as well. I mean, no you, doubt. You, can, you can do that yourself with any piece of paper or uh, anything like that. You can have like a regular size sheet of paper that you would do schoolwork on or whatever. Yep. You could, I, know, I know people who have done it with uh, a, a post-it. Ooh, good shot. Uh, yeah. This might hit the outer point and oh, help. Man. Oh, it, do it, it, did. Did. it did. That actually helped yeah. quite a bit because it got the cue ball away from the rail. Yeah. Yeah, if that, if that doesn't hit the outer point, it goes farther down the table and you have a harder shot. So, yeah. You know, I think we might have to... Uh, remember a couple of weeks ago um, when we were betting how many laps oh, somebody yes. went around the table? I think yeah. it was 189 uh, laps. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I think we're yeah. going to have to... You know, and, and if, you're, if I remember correctly, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, Al... Wasn't that Dan yeah. that brought that up about how many I, laps? I believe somebody yeah. brought Let's, that up. So I think we should have everybody count how many times Dumper takes a little lap around the... Holy cow, look who's here. Joni and everybody else in the chat. Put your uh, hands together. Baby Cheddar is in the house. All right. Now what's, we, what's happening, sunshine? Now we, now we have an intelligent Cheddar in the booth. <laughs> I'm the stream. Uh. And again, that's Al Holden, and that would be his very first and last time in the booth. Thank you very little. Oh, very nice. Oh, this is perfect speed. Yeah. A little straight. Yeah. I think I'd draw back and play the 10 in the same pocket. No, I think I'd uh, roll up. Or roll up. And, little, and play it right in the side. you got a straight shot there. I yeah, think. that's not a bad idea. And you don't have to work as hard either. So Always always do as little work, little little movement with the cue ball as you have to. No doubt. That's why the, pool, uh, the pros make it look so easy, you know. They just they move it only the amount that they have to. Yep. And... Uh, Speaking of pros, and we had Tyler Steyer and Margaret Fefalova Steyer in the house tonight Who's earlier. That? Who is that? Oh, I, I don't know. They play pool somewhere. You mean these two people? Those two people. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, house pros. Been watching, watching a lot of pool, and uh, if it, if or don't know if anybody saw, but they just had a. Another pro tournament uh, winner was Shane 
Some some Captain Van America Boning, yeah. Van Boning, Van Boning, or something like that. Correct. Yeah, huh? you got a little. That's the one out at uh, Jason Shaw's plays out in uh, yeah. Connecticut. Yeah, that was yeah. sixteen player mm-hmm. invitational. Yeah. And Margaret, I know she is disappointed, um, but she ended up fifth at the WPBA yeah. uh, this past weekend up in Fairfield. Yeah, but she... all right, dumper taken down rack number yeah. four. Yeah. That brings it to a three to one lead. Look at you learning how to do math. I know, right? Amazing. It is. At 57 years old, they say that you can't learn new tricks. <laughs> yeah, watch me. Watch me. So, Joni, your wish came true. It's the littlest cheddar. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, funny. So who is very funny, Michael? Was, so she, Joni, also says, so who's Big Cheddar? Because we know it's not you. So uh, Big Cheddar. Okay, so our son hygiene hygiene issue. Oh, okay. Um, um, our oh, okay. oldest daughter is in California, and that's string cheese. Okay. Yep. She's tall and She's skinny. Tall, yep. tall yep. and skinny. Um, Mrs. Mrs. Cheddar. She's she's the big cheese. Everybody knows that. Yep. She's got to be. Yeah. <laughs> and we love Lisa. She's. If it wasn't for her, I, w- I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Uh, I and un- everybody I knows can, that. I can understand that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same with you and Leanne. So uh, that, I, that, I, you that, got, that you is, got nothing. <laughs> you know, we, we, know, we know where our bread is buttered, right? <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Baby Cheddar, you can stay out of that conversation. Thank you very little. No, baby cheddar says no. She is big boss cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's. Uh, I don't know if everybody got to see the new addition to the house. Oh yes. As uh, Dan comes to the table after Jesse's miss, I'll show you the newest addition. We just got done remodeling. Um, and uh, that's the new cheesy bathroom there. That's where, you know, if I go number one, um, that's where Cheese Whiz comes from. Ah. So. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is def- definitely the stinky cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so, moving All right, right, right along. Right along. Ooh. This is. Definitely a hard shape on a two here. Trevor Simpson, um, by tall, is she, what, like five foot two? No, she's... Uh, string cheese, I think, is six foot. Pretty pretty sure she's six foot. And it was either the mailman or the Amazon delivery guy or something like that. It's, yeah. I mean, Definitely the milkman, probably. Most likely, uh, yeah. yep. Wasn't me. Yeah. So, on this one, I'm thinking I play a safe here of some kind. I just you know, I keep forgetting there's a pool match going on here. Yeah, it's good. Well, we're having such a good time. Yeah, here. that's what we do. Not, not that our viewers are, but they're probably not. You know, they, they haven't listened to us, but we're enjoying. They know what to expect. There you go. There's, and he'll. Yeah, I think you called it there, Al. Yeah. He may have a safety. I don't think he's he, he, he may have a edge of the one, but boy, I tell you, that's uh, got a good chance if you hit it. Uh, if you just play it straight up, there you got a scratch in that lower left hand corner there. So we'll see what he does. Oh, played well. He had more of it than I thought. All right. Attempted safe, and I think uh, Dan is going to have a a very difficult time with his next shot. Because if I'm at the table, which I'm not, but I would be playing a lock-up safe, putting that cue ball right on the back side of that 10 ball. Make sure the one hits a rail. Yep, that's oh, a really good shot. Stuck it right to the 10 ball. 
That's a really good shot. This is going to be a really tough hit on the one ball. He can get past the set. Let's go to our side view here, and I'll give you a better idea. He, he can get past the seven ball, but I think he's going to have to shorten the angle just a smidge. You know what? Actually, Al, can you tell at all? Or no, um, we'll go to the overhead and see if... That looks like it's froze to the 10. It is froze right to the 10. Yes, it is. You know, even if he doesn't get a, a hit here, I don't think it's going to hurt him all that much because the 2 and 5 are all messed up down there. The 4 is in a bad spot. Right. And they're not playing 3 foul rule tonight. Right. So. so I would maybe even decide to, as uh, was mentioned in the chat the last match, I believe, uh, take an intentional foul here. Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe That's move. Derek. Derek I, Schwartz said that. I would. He's going to try and kick at this and almost makes a really well, good hit. Yeah. I would have I would have maybe pushed the three in by the two and five mm -hmm. and made it even harder. This game's going to take a while. Not a bad <laughs> idea. Yeah, sit but, back and enjoy yourself. I'll yeah. tell you what. Let's do this while we are waiting. He's probably not going to take an offensive shot. So let's give you a little player profile. All right. It says Dan there is 57. He plays out at Sheboygan. 30 years of playing pool. Loves eight ball. Sailor. Great. Great Fabulous. Cue. Slides days. And, uh, yeah. So far, he's knocked out Brian Kurtz, 8-3. to three, And Maynard Hebert, 8-5. to five. Mm -hmm. And guess who this player spotlight is sponsored by? Oh, let me Dumper guess. Dance. Dumper Dance. Isn't that a coincidence? Yeah, that's amazing. Who would have ever thought that was going to happen? That's you know, it's almost like somebody set it up like that. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how that would no. happen. I mean, this is just a live stream. I mean, we don't do those things. So. <laughs> All right. So. You didn't miss much, folks. Yeah. And we have a player profile for uh, Jesse, as well. Jesse, of course. There, there might be at some point where I might be able to even figure out how to do that. <laughs> Trevor Simpson says, uh, wasn't me either. Uh, Thought I was known as a milkman for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. Oh, very nice hit by Jesse. Very nice. That was really, that was not easy at all. He had to mass a into the rail. Yeah, and avoid the three. Yeah, yeah it's a good shot. A tough shot. Played it well, though. Didn't leave Dan a good shot. Could hit the ball. What's going on, Steve Zoo? Good evening. Thanks for joining us. A little bit later than usual. Uh, normally, during the week, we're starting right around 7 o'clock. Um, this week, both players agreed to start the match at 6, which is fabulous. Get home in an east an hour. No doubt. Especially uh, when you have to get up and go out and do construction. Me? No. No? No. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm actually, I think I'm getting out of construction. I'm just the wait time on products and you know doors and windows and trim and everything. It's just it's aggravating. Yeah, I know my my wife and I just built a brand new garage and yeah, having to having to wait around for lumber and everything yeah, else. It takes go, forever. And the prices have ever since it's insane. Ever since COVID is just ridiculous. Yep. It's All right, so. Mike Masevich says, we playing both matches tomorrow? <laughs> no. I don't know where you got that idea. Well, first we have to f see who's going right. to be drawn. We, so, And actually, that brings up a really good point. So immediately following this match, I am going to shut the stream down. And then what I'm going to do wow. is get all set up. It'll take me about 10 minutes or so. Um, and then we are going to do the fourth and final redraw. 
And uh, that's a computer generated draw. It is. So, and what I've done the first three times is it. I put the players in, which again, there's only four of them, so it won't to- take very long. Um, and then I'll generate the draw five times. Press the little button five times, and whatever it comes up, that's what it comes up. Yep. So, then the players contact each other in chat or on Facebook Messenger or however else. They set up a time. They let me know when they're going to play. And that's how we get here. Vincent Didio in the chat. What's it going on, Vincent? Very nice shot and by deep. Dumper Dan there to get down by that three ball. Wonderful. And What's going on, Vincent? And Pete Besta in the chat. What up, Pete? Pistol Pete Besta. I think got a little straight on this three ball. Vincent was one of our competitors. Uh, I think he played last week Sunday, if I remember correctly. Um, did not fare as well as he had hoped he would, but mm-hmm. that's pool. Yep. Who didn't want to put that seven ball there? No. But it's it's still doable. Right. But I think he has an angle. Right, it is not too conducive of getting back down to the. I don't know. This looks uh, five ball. I have to put a little draw on the ball here. A little schmutz on it. Yeah, a little bit of spin here, but a little uh, something, something. We'll see. It's uh, always, always got to be mindful when you play a shot like this to stay down on the ball, follow through, and uh, not rush it. Or poke at it. Yeah. Which is... Good follow-through. Yeah. Just like so. Nice little spin on there. Yeah. Oh, that was well played. Not too hard to get up. Six is pretty much hanging over the pocket here. So. Yeah, six to the seven is going to be the issue. Yeah. I think that's going to determine the rest of this rack. Yeah. And the angle he's got on the five here is kind of hard to get up table too much. Mm-hmm. Pretty flat. You're going to have to watch out coming... If you spin off the lower rail and the upper rail there on the side, the long rail, you're going to have to either place the short or have to worry about going into the nine. He's yeah, decided, you called it. You called it, Al. Decided to play short, but now you got another almost straight in shot here. So I think the long view will. Give us an exact representation of what oh, we're yeah, he's, he's got, got a, a, a little bit of an angle. Yeah. Not a lot. If he could get over by the eight ball, that would be ideal as long as you don't get behind it. Well, behind it would be in the pocket. Right. So that would be but really I think, tough. I think a stun with a little bit of right here, and you should yep. be able to do that. Oh, uh, I think I'm he hit it well. Oh, it's going to overrun a smidge. 50-yard uh, line here. Yep. If played correctly, this is kind of a two-way shot. He could play the bank and keep the cue ball right behind the 10 and make sure that you keep the 7 ball over by the... It would be your lower right as you see it. Right. Um, or just cut it in. Yeah, hopefully, if you do miss, you don't hang the 7. Right. Cutting this in, this is the biggest issue. He could end up on the wrong side of this 8 ball. Unless he puts a ton of inside English on it. And then you throw the ball out of the hole. Right. And, and the hardest part is going to be the... Oh, my. I think he hooked him. Oh, let's see. I think he hooked him on this. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't look like he can see all of the ball. I might have to uh, do a little dance here and swerve a little bit. Yeah, no doubt. Well, we've all played that shot a little, once or twice. I think I would actually go for the three rail. Oh, okay. kick on this. Yeah, that's not. A bad I mean, idea. it's not. Not a bad idea. I think it's the only way that, and if you're going to try and pocket this, uh, Jesse's played it a couple of times. Maybe he goes for the jump. Whew, that's a long jump. That's a long that cue ball would go flying uh, off the table. I think we're going to see a little bit of mass here. Right? Mass here. Well, it's a long mass A, too. Yeah. I didn't. Th- <laughs> so Vincent Didio said, 
I shot like So that's that's a plain and simple way of of saying it. He just shot like Understandable. And Trevor Simpson says he would have given it back with uh, him pocketing the eight ball. <laughs> he would have given it back to Dan. <gasps> Kyle Goble. I never house. thought of that. Yeah. Why did he not yeah. give it back? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's not good rule awareness by Jesse. Right. Kyle, yeah. Kyle Goble in the house. What's going on, Kyle? Kyle is one of the contestants in the next Knockout 2.0. And got some good players lined up for that, too. I'll tell you what. In just a moment, I am going to give you that exact list of players. I know a couple of people who we've mentioned tonight are lined up for that, I believe. Yeah, that, that was a really good call to, mm -hmm. to give that one back, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Jeff Hefter, you know that guy, don't you? Oh, I certainly do. <laughs> What's going on, Jeff? Yeah. Jeff is actually uh, considering being one of my sponsors as well. I'm going to run out of room to put them all. Yeah. Well, that's not a bad problem to have. That's that's definitely not a bad I love it. problem to have. Yeah. All right, this to make it four to one in favor of Dumper and make it to Ooh, the half win. That was a nice good, bank. It's yes. a good bank shot. Yeah, yeah. All right. Here is... Used all the outer points there. All right. Uh, Jesse has requested a timeout, and that is granted. Uh, perfect time. Perfect time, because here is your list. It, you know, speaking of which, he's at the top of of the chart there. Yeah. Player list consists of Kyle Gable. Gable. Bud Snyder, Tarek Hamden, Hua Lee from Sheboygan as well, Terrence Beck from Milwaukee, Lyle Gable, Kyle Sun from Fond du Lac, Josh Nelson, I can't remember where, uh, Ronnie Olson from Manitowoc, Dave Searing from Burnett, Beaver Dam. Oh, they moved to Beaver Dam. No, okay. Uh, Tim Stockton from Sheboygan, Bill Grossbeer, I can't remember either, Tim Volkman from Oshkosh, Robbie Schmidt from Appleton, John Sandalski from way up in Wausau. Uh, Pork Rasmussen, the Green Bay area, I believe. And then the winner, the winner of KO 1.0 has the option, if they so choose, so choose to, play in 2.0. It is not a free entry. They still have to pay their entry, of course. But it is a guaranteed spot if they want it. I've already spoke with all five players, and they are in no matter what. Wonderful. So Wonderful. It's, it's pretty cool. That's you know this this is a tournament that goes to a higher Fargo rating I believe six hundred to six twenty five okay yep so all of these guys would be at a lower Fargo rate but that's a chance to step up and play some better players which we all yep. unless, unless we're playing handicap tournaments which you know then you may may not play a a player that's uh, a higher level but. At this, I mean, it's able to, you're able to challenge yourself, you know, and, and step up. And, you know, you do, you do, you're coming in feeling well after playing in this tournament. You betcha. So, yeah. And talking about feeling well, if you haven't already seen it, this is what the winner of KO 1.0 gets. This is the little diamond table that I made. It took me, yeah, but I don't know, 10 hours total time, something like that, over the course of several days. Um, but that is the winner's trophy. Um, not bad, huh? It's, it's, a, it's a, It almost looks like somebody knew what they were doing when they made that. Actually, it's my table. It's your so table from if, home? Yeah, I was going to say, you could barely reach over the top of that. It's, <laughs> I was just thinking that myself. So, look, the balls are almost bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, after years and years and years, I am finally giving up my nine-footer. Um, and it's going to go, obviously, to, you know, the winner. So, you know, and it was so fun. And that's just kind of the, the type of person that I am with the chess boards that I make and some of the stuff for the Veterans Tournament. Um, I knew in the middle of making it that or where it was going. So it just made it that much more fun. Uh, you know, it was it was fun to make. It was aggravating at times. I shot myself in the finger with one of the little Brad nails. You know, so it shit happens. Yeah. Whatever. So anyway. You know, if, you had, if you had somebody who was... Uh, uh, skilled. Yeah, right. Skilled. Yep. 
So while we are waiting for Jesse to get back, I am going to go over his player profile. Jesse Crook, age 38, resides here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, has been playing for 15 years. Favorite game? Oh, it's kind of funny because we were talking about it prior to them spinning the wheel. Yep. What game that they wanted? Um, Jesse wanted nine ball. Dan wanted eight ball. And, and we're playing ten ball. Play of course, ball. that's yes. just the way the wheel works. Right. Yep. Uh, plays with a P shower, which is one of my sponsors. <laughs> and and I play with P shower as well. Uh, same. I have one. I play with my Nova most of the time. But yep. anywho, favorite restaurant is literally right across the street from yep. the Varsity Club here in Oshkosh, the Roxy. Yep. And if you've not been here before, shame, 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 shame. We know your name. Yeah. And he knocked out previously Adam Lutz, 8 to 5, and Vince Didio, who was in the chat this evening, 8 to 3. And who is the player spots, spotlight sponsored by? Isn't it weird? Oh, again? My. It's Peach Hour Cues. What a weird coincidence Peach again. Hour. Wow. It's, uh, like I said, it, it's like somebody put thought into this. That's amazing. And oh. we know it wasn't you, so. <laughs> no doubt. It's got to be so. Maybe it was a little cheddar. It's. It yeah, probably. Yeah. It most she, likely it is. That's probably where the idea came from, guys. Uh, look, uh, Terry, look at that guy in the chat. Speaking of speaking of the players for 2.0, Terry Beck in the, in the chat. So one of the things that, well, let's let's see what uh, Jesse can do here. Jesse broke. It looks like he is going to have to play Dan a broke. combo. Dan. Yeah, Dan broke and scratched. Yep. Yeah, I should change the score, shouldn't I? Yeah. Because it is four to one, right? Yep. As far as I know. Thanks for all your help in chat. Um. So Bill Grossbeer is from Marshfield area. All right. Cool. Dean Crook saying, "Come on, Jesse." I believe that is his dad, if I remember correctly. He was in the chat the last time. Good evening, Dean. You know, it's kind of cool that uh, this has been a tournament that's gathered, um, you know, kind of a, a, a funny attention to... I shouldn't say funny, but how often do you have friends of yours or whatever that drive all the way from Sheboygan to cheer you on right, exactly. in a tournament like this? It's amazing. <laughs> so it's Dumper amazing. had uh, Chad, is it Chad? I can't think of his last name right now. And Todd Jewell yep. are sitting over there. And right across the table from them are Jesse's fans. Yeah. They're literally sitting at the and same table. Talking and having a good time. <laughs> eating chicken wings and whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff. Looks like they're talking more than they are paying attention to the match. Yeah, actually. it sure looks like. You know what? Speaking yeah. of player, why don't we just zoom over there and see what's going Oh, look at that. All kinds of stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you turn turn the camera just a little bit there, you'll see Jesse sitting over just to the left there. It's going to go really fast, so watch. There's Jesse. Oh, just missed him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dan shooting at the three here. I like, uh, I, I like the the basic play instead of trying to force that around the table at all. Yeah. But I think he's come up on the wrong side of this four ball. Yeah, maybe just a hair. But maybe you can run into it, and bump it a little bit. Mad Matt is in the house. What's going on? Uh -oh. Good evening to you as well, sir. How's it going, Matt? Oh, nice. Oh, play. well played. Yeah. Well played. Well, this is the time of the match where if Dan can get out on this rack, it is going to apply a ton of pressure on Jesse. Five to one in a race to eight is, it's not insurmountable. It's not that he can't come back, but it's going to put, it's going to tighten up that swing arm a little bit more. A little bit with raw to get an angle because I think you're going to have to come draw up the six to get down to the seven. 
I think I'd play the, the seven in, in the, the side. In the, okay, put a seven in the side? Yeah, just float down and play okay. the seven in the side. Yeah, that, they, you, 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 so you roll up off the six onto the short rail yep. and come off with a good angle? I think I'd just play this. Mm -hmm. Try to get the cue ball right where it is now. Yep. Just pull it back just a smidge. Just like that. Oh, you maybe, maybe went a little far here. So I have noticed everybody that, in, and I, I apologize for it happening. It's nothing on my end that I'm aware of right now. So I've noticed every once in a while that, um, so my stream, um, as long as everything is working well, it's a certain color. Um, you don't know that because you can't see it. So I've noticed a couple of times that there might be, a, and I just seen it just now. So there might be a little bit of a glitch in, or what's going on with YouTube. Um, it's nothing that's within my control, just so you know. Um, so, oh boy. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's doing it right now, too. Mm, 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 mm. So, I apologize if, actually, let me know in the chat. Have you lost the feed at all? Or have you at all, at any point in time, had the stream go out on you? Um, that would actually be really helpful to me to find out. Then I could actually diagnose the problem a little bit. So if that is happening, please say so in the chat. I think Dan tried to uh, fit that ball in there and get a little more angle than he, than he could get. Yeah, I think he just missed the and, six. And he hit the, <laughs> hit, the, hit the outer point there. Right? Yeah, that'll do it. He you, you, you got it, actually. Yeah. You know, actually, we haven't had... Scotty, Scotty Rob says looking good here. Joe Menina said two, two to three seconds. Uh, just some buffering, no loss of stream. Okay, thank you, everybody. That is very helpful. And did you have a problem last time with the... I lost a camera yeah. on the last... No, but I, I thought... Uh, oh, Michael's... Yeah. Yeah, his match. Yeah, where the, Ooh, the stream... I don't like this. Yeah, that's... I don't like the way he played this. I, I would have. Can we see the end camera on this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Might be able to see on the overhead or the end camera. That this, this, he left himself really long on this. He's going to have to come all the way back down table. This is a very inside. missable shot. Yeah, you've got to uh, hit it so hard. Yeah. You got shape and this on is going to bounce, too. This is going to bounce and leave Dan with an easy shot. Yeah. Yikes. Well, we all know nothing easy in pool. But, no, but it's an easier shot than, and he's got and he's got a shot at it where <laughs> where he might not have before. <laughs> Whatever, Vincent. It, go back. Go to Thailand or something, or wherever you were a couple of months ago when I talked to you last. <laughs> oh wait, he might be talking about you. Oh, that could be. Probably that not. Could be. I'm, I'm assuming not. Uh, yeah. Whatever, Vincent. Uh -oh. This is coming pretty close to straight at this 10 ball. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Oh, boy. Did not leave himself easy. We're going to give you a, a better view of that. Yikes. Would you kick this in? Yeah, I, I almost think I would. I'd play two rails here. I'd play, I'd play almost straight up and some left spin to play off the lower rail. And if you miss, maybe you go up table with the cue ball. I, I don't. You know what I really would think about doing here is actually playing a spin. Do it, yeah. Uh, play it two rail up to the short rail. This is not easy because he could end up um, just leaving this dead in the pocket. You know, this is such a thin cut. I mean, he's got to put a ton of inside English on it. Here's the worst, you know, good, so, good so, spot here. So now if you notice, Dan plays with a sailor cue, but he changed to a blackout cue here. Yeah, with his, an his break cue. With, a, with an extension. But I know from talking to Dan personally that he has a play, a play shaft on that blackout. Yeah, he did it. He did exactly what I was talking about is you leave yourself in such a bad position like that you're i would have kicked at it honestly right that would have been my shot well, choice if, if i was going to do that i would have used the bridge i mean it's yeah but i don't well, know if you could get the bridge out of the way fast uh, enough uh, 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 
yeah. that cue ball run into it. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, we all have our thought processes. No doubt. So. Okay, that is two for Jesse and four for Dan. Michael Masovich. <laughs> That's intentional. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Vincent S. <laughs> yeah, that is an intentional foul there, Vincent. Ooh. I'll tell you what. So, since Vincent is in the chat and watching tonight, I have to give a shout out to him. And here's the reason why. Because if it wasn't for Vincent, this tournament would not be taking place. And here's the reason why. Back in September of last year, Vincent is the one that put together the v Google Docs for me for the sign-up list. So we have two lists. One, if you sign up to play here at Varsity Club. The other is to play at Sussex at our other permanent booth with Brian Hollenbeck. So um, and Brian and I talked back and forth, back and forth. You know, we had other things going on with Derby City Classic, um, challenge matches, so on and so forth. But... We had a list of, I think I had 40 players here at Varsity Club at that point. And I reached out to every single one of them and asked, hey, instead of doing what I did at Matt Apple, it was the king of the hill. Um, it was a fun list to manage. There, Sense the sarcasm in that if you do, or if you can. But it's a perpetual list. It yes. never goes away. Yep. So what I wanted, and that's how this this tournament came to be is I wanted to have the ability to wipe out that list, give everybody a chance to play all at the same time, and then start over and do it again and again and again and again. So if it wasn't for Vincent, seriously, uh, this tournament would have not taken place. So thanks, Vinny. Yeah. <laughs> He's been a huge asset over the last year and a half. Um, He's done a lot for Brian and I, so. Vincent Didio says Dale would have needed a stool and a bridge. You're a stool. <laughs> That's all you get, Vincent. Derek Hansen in the chat, cheering for Dumper. Put on, Derek. <laughs> Anytime you are ready. Hey, I got a question for you. Um, you know what? Uh -oh. All right, Jesse uh -oh. is going to be taking a moment, I believe, to figure out what he's going to do next. Da -da -da. I have a flyer that I have to put up for... Yeah, this one might take me a little while to find. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a tough shot here. Yeah, Jesse's going to... I gonna think he's just going to roll this in, though. Oh, couldn't see enough of it. Oh, oh, oh good save. Good save, yep. Well played. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get the buzzer and like it, Mr. Didio. <laughs> You know what? As long as Dan is deciding what he's going to do, I'm going to I'm going to put this up there for everybody. If you are not already currently a member of the Wisconsin Billiards Hall of Fame, I would highly suggest as a pool player, if you enjoy the oh, preservation that, of the game, that was pretty close. It looked like he We can't say anything. We can't say. We don't no. know, but Okay. So it's agreed that yeah, it looked like it might have. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we don't know. Nope. So if you are not already aware of what John Kramer has done for the preservation of pool history in the state of Wisconsin, get on over to the Wibhoff website and just check out exactly why he's done what he's done. Uh, Kelly O'Hearn and the rest of the team have done a phen um, phenomenal job um, at especially. Every year we have the Wisconsin Billiards Hall of Fame Banquet, and that is a four-player induction into the Hall of Fame every year. And you get, as a member, 
uh, you get voting rights to do that. It is an invitation only um, tournament. They have an upper and a lower bracket. They divide it right in the middle. If there's 80 players, they take all the Fargos and everything, and it's 40 on one side and 40 on the other. It it is a fantastic um, tournament itself, the banquet, and John Kramer does an amazing job, and I'm very proud to have him as a sponsor of Outer Point Streaming. So, yeah, John is a great ambassador for the game, no doubt. I believe Jesse's calling the three by the ten. Haven't missed any action, just so you know. Oh no. Oh, oh that's play the, the worst. combination. Wow. He's lucky that three ball didn't go any further where it gave yeah. Dan an easy 310. Right. So now Dan's going to have to take. The only thing I don't like about this run out is where that nine ball is. Yeah, that is brutal. And if the nine was just a hair closer, I might consider playing the five <laughs> off the nine to get it away from that outer point but as it oh, sits that's a, oh that's a good idea Al. i don't know that that would work but i like that idea uh vincent says uh too many vincents on the chat skedaddle diddio <laughs> <laughs> that's funny i don't care who you are that's funny if you don't like it get the out of here Uh, what is Michael Masevich even talking about in the chat, Al? Do, do you even know? I don't think he even knows. Justine, the, has he been drinking tonight? Interesting. Is he playing that off the 10? Why would you do that? I have no clue. I don't understand why you But that's why the way he's that. looking at it. It's, it's, there's not, you're not able to play oh, a bang I on I think that. I know why, though. So I, I actually like this shot. So what he's doing is clearing that pocket for the nine ball. Okay. So that way he doesn't have to get perfect on the nine ball to play it in the upper left, he can get somewhat okay on the nine ball to play it in the upper right. It's not a bad idea. Well, oh, he changed his mind. <laughs> Vincent Didio oh. says, what is a skedaddle? Oh, he just played it straight Vincent up Vincent must be young. Yeah. If you don't know what skedaddle is, yeah, well, Mr. Didio, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're, you've yeah. got to be under the age of 35. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, this is an older player or older person's chat booth here. So. Uh, yes. You know. We, Al and I are both fast approaching 60. Yes. And it's not slowing down either. Yeah. That's closer for me than you, but how old are you? Uh, B June ninth will be fifty nine. Holy shit! Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, a lot of pool if you, under if you my look, belt. <laughs> if you look, if you look back on our life, Al, do you think? Did you ever think that you were going to make it this far? Because uh, I know I didn't. I got, Me, not you. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I definitely. Oh, this is going to come up, Cheddar. Uh, He's not going to like this shape. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, while Dan is figuring out what he's going to do here, um, here is what I was talking about, Mr. Vincent Schrader. 
Coming up on May 11th is the Cue It Up Elite Tournament. $250 entry, and the majority of this is going to be streamed. So Michael Taylor and Nate Mindham are going to be in the house at the Varsity Club. Um, race the 8 on the winner's side, race the 7 on the loser's side, winner breaks, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that is part of the Cue It Up Tour. Uh, Dan still hasn't shot, just so you know. Um, but he's about to, so let's get back over there. So, uh, Vincent, drinks are on me for the entire... Well played, Safer. Well played. Um, for the entire day for... Okay, disclaimer. Just for you. Not everybody in the tournament. <laughs> just for you, Vincent. Drinks are on me. Actually, I'll even... even buy you a meal. I owe you at least that much. And then we're even, damn it. Well, I think definitely this is the first time any of us could say this, but that's very big of you, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be serious, but... Uh. Vince, <laughs> Vince, <laughs> Vincent Didio says close to 60. Can't read sarcasm. <laughs> Baby Cheddar says she's younger than 35, and she even knows what skedaddle means. She's got you for, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. I'm sure you've said that more than once. I may have <laughs> uh, on more than one occasion, for sure. Hmm? I'm going to have to get a Porky Pig sound effect in here. Uh-oh. Perfect. Is he like dead straight on this, yeah. or has he got? Can he cheat that pocket a little? Uh -huh. Oh, he can cheat that a smidge. Yeah. Either way, just uh, just stop it. Play the nine inside. Go yeah. down table and play the ten. Yeah. I mean, that, you'd have to be like right on top of the ten to miss it. Yeah, you'd have to, you'd have to go like thirteen you'd, feet to be <laughs> right. You'd have to shoot like Al Holden. <laughs> there you go. Just make the ball. Yes, um, I noticed that as well, Trevor, and I'm, I'm keeping a real close eye on my little stream buttons to see when they change color. A again, it's it's not anything that I can manage right now. The only or the only choice I would have is to shut the stream down and start it over, and I am not going to do that. I don't. I don't want anybody to miss any of the action. All right, this for a five to two lead. Everybody here in Oshkosh and in Upper Michigan, I know there's quite a few quite a few players um, or I'm sorry quite a few friends of Jesse that are cheering him on from in either upper Michigan or across the pond and pretty much everybody in the city of Sheboygan is probably cheering for Dan nope, in the surrounding area there mm -hmm. okay. well. yeah sorry sorry Fred um, I'll keep an eye on it. If if it gets a lot worse, then as much as I'll hate to do it, I may have to just start the stream over and see if that cures the problem. I highly doubt it will, but I'm going to have to take another look at the internet. So, dry break here. Uh, not a good look anywhere at this one ball. Opportunity to maybe play a save. Yeah, I think I tried to get that one ball behind the two. Get that cue ball all the way down table. Or, or behind. Oh, oh, you didn't want to do this. Yeah. Cut it a little thick there. Yeah, that is not a good save. 
That one could leave a mark. Because there's no trouble in this rack. Yeah, everything's pretty wide open. Um, yeah, I mean, the six, six to the seven is easy, seven to the eight. Even the five to the six isn't really tough. Yeah. If you get this good is, shape on the five, you just blow it up, you should be good. That could be a costly mistake. This one has the potential to get away a, a smidge, or you could end up with a bad angle on this four ball. No. If he does, he's probably going to try to draw out of this. Um, if he doesn't get on the top side of the four, oh, he hit that so yeah, good. Yeah. I think Dan's finding a rhythm here. Yeah. He seems a lot more comfortable in this game. Uh, it's easy to do that when you're up a couple of games. It sure does. You, know, you get, set a mouthful there. See what happens. It's no commentary curse. Nope. Nope. Ooh, I don't like this. That's, yeah, you know, that's way too much. Yeah, He's right flat, there. very flat. Yeah, yeah you said it before, Al. You, you know the angle from the five to the six. That's yeah, that was important. Yeah. Even if even if you go two rails here, if you if you have a little bit of angle, it's still tough to get above the six. Cause you got to really hit this with a lot of spin, and that you can you could draw out of this maybe, but then you have a chance of Oof. getting going past the six and getting behind the eight. Yeah, it's tough. Honestly, I think given the position that this is at right now, it's not a bad idea to just roll forward and play a safe on the six ball. So you roll the six up and play the cue behind the eight. Hundred percent. Yep. Lock that cue ball tight on the back side of the eight ball. You don't want to try to force something here and then yeah, either good. scratch or make yeah. a big mistake. Well, one of, one of the first rules, rules of pool is if you can make your opponent work harder, do it. For sure. Any pool player with any sense knows that you'd rather have your opponent make a bad mistake than make one yourself. I don't know if I learned that yet. We know how you play pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. that's a good shot. Yeah. Yeah, and he did, make him kick at it. Couldn't get tight on the eight, but you know, it's, but this is still going to be a. Is Jesse going for the jump cue here? We're going to go airborne. Fun. Not an easy jump, but not a horrible one either. No. Problem here is, is if you do make this jump and you make the six, you don't have shape on the seven. Right. You're running into the nine most likely. Well, is he going to get safe behind the seven? I think he may have... Boy, it's close. Yeah, That's hard to tell good. from. I think we'll be able to tell better with the overhead. Boy, that's close. Wow. Well, you don't need to see the whole ball here. He to just make called it. safe, so. Okay. I don't know if I do that. I would call a pocket. No. Oh. Don't want to do that. Well, they're not playing three fouls. No. Nope. If they were, I would say the shot would be to play safe on the six behind the eight, bank the six. But I think he's got a good shot here to be able to make the six and get out for the seven. Is it kind of early in Wisconsin for crickets? 
You need to, you know, I, I figured out why you have to have that noise on there because you relate with crickets. Uh, their size I, I i wasn't saying but um i think we all the all the viewers in the chat know and uh anybody who plays pool against dale um as a matter of fact uh my wife made a comment the other night while we were watching the stream oh there. boy she said uh, to tell you that uh crickets and cheddar don't go together so <laughs> All right, nice shot on the seven there. Got a little bit. <laughs> so if I'm reading this right in the chat, uh, Trevor Simpson is saying, uh, the problems with the stream to blame it on Bill Gates and Al Gore. <laughs> oh, for sure. Or Elon Musk. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. So, straight on the nine here. A little bit of draw. Play it in the side. Probably just roll this in, not hit it too hard. Yeah, middle ball. Yeah. Just make it. Yeah, no chance of scratching here. Just there you go. And Jesse gets another game. Three to five now. As a matter of fact, Fred Dodge, yes, I do. Jiminy Cricket. Wasn't there a cricket in uh, Pinocchio, too? Oh, wait. The same one? I can't remember. That's a long time ago. Yeah, what Baby Cheddar said. Yeah, people, let's go. Baby Cheddar's asking. Like and share. I, I don't, don't know if she was asking. Well, I don't think I, she was I, asking, I, but... Pretty much, she, I think she's just telling everybody well, to do it. Yeah. She'll, everybody will listen to her more than you, so <laughs> it's, it's good that she said that. And I'm sure they'll listen to her probably more than she would me, that they would uh, me. 100%. But, but... 100%. I know uh, I myself liked and shared this stream before we started tonight. Me too. And uh, we oh, appreciate wow. everyone that you share and like. It just gets it out there and gets more viewers and makes people aware that we're out here. So thank you very much. Yeah, the more shares we get, the more likes we get, the more that YouTube um, gives us, you know, a top spot when people search for pool streams. And uh, it just helps with the algorithms of Facebook and all that good stuff that I know absolutely nothing about. Well, that's a wide range of... Yeah, there's, there's a lot of subjects <laughs> I've nothing about. All right, good shot by Jesse on the one ball, and this is a runnable rack. The huge issue right here is that nine ball is big right about now. Right. That is an easy ball to get wow. stuck behind. And you He's got to keep that in mind. And you got to not... Scratching the side also here. Mm -hmm. That's a good chance of that. So, oh, and you, she simply oh. hangs it. That's deep in the pocket there, though. That's going to be tough. I think we're going to have to go to the overhead after that comment, Al. Oh. You aren't kidding. Wow. That thing caught both outer points and stuck right on the shelf. I. You know that is a missable ball. Well, the 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 best thing to try here probably would be to draw out of this but you're having to jack up over the four ball 
And the other option would be play left spin off the short reel. But then you have a chance of hitting the two ball right into the corner, yep, the outer point there, the edge, yep, and ha just having it hang there as well, or doing that. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Uh oh. What's going on, Michael Parker? Are you up at the cottage today, or are you at Mike's man cave watching in the basement? Sam says, add a boy, Jesse. Even Michael Parker was listening to Jesse. All right, baby cheddar there. Right. Yeah. When baby talk, baby cheddar talks, people listen. She's like EF Hutton. Mm. Remember that? Yeah, that's uh, that's a reference that some of the people in about the, eighty years old. <laughs> right, right. Some of the people in the chat <laughs> will not remember. Right now, Vincent Didio is like. EF what? <laughs> Isn't that like a category for a tornado or something? Or EF5? Right. So, tough shape on the... I mean, three's makeable here, but... Ah, that's right, Michael. Oh. If you are still there on Saturday, I will see you there, my friend. He's playing this ball two rails. Wispa team. This weekend. And got six. Wow. Well good played. Good call, yeah. Well played. Perfect speed. Yes. And had shape on the four as a two shot if you made it. Vincent, so. did you actually just um, verified the right. fact? <laughs> yeah, <fun. laughs> Yep, no idea. Yeah. Not a clue. Yeah. But we do it. Well, that just made this for a long game of 10 ball. Yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me. I would be willing to bet that right now, Jesse is thinking to himself, boy, I sure wish we were playing three foul rule. Uh, yeah. I know I would be because oh, yeah. this, this is this is going to be lock up, Two rails. And, and nobody's going to want to give on this. Oh, he left him a oh, piece. Oh yeah, yeah. You could have played that with a lot less, a lot less hit on the ball. Yeah. Okay. Just. Real simple roll into it. Make your opponent. I think I'm going to try to get that seven or, or the three right behind the seven and the cue ball behind the five. Yeah. I don't think you can get the three behind the seven, but get the cue ball. Oh, he's going This way. isn't a bad idea either. He might be able to get this behind the ten. Mm -hmm. If he hits it hard enough, he can get all the way around table and get. Well, I think he can get behind the seven now for sure. Oh. Uh, again. Too hard on the three, too, too much ball. Yep, yep. Not thin enough. But you didn't have to go that far up to him. You just had to get behind the seven. But that's all right. It's it's still a combination. It's not an easy shot. No, no. You know, so you, you leave your opponent long, which is always a harder shot, and you have to think about it more. I'd rather shoot a a cue ball that's a, a foot away from my object ball than. Three feet away from my object. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or in your case, ten feet. Oh, good one. That's funny. That's. <laughs> I tell you what, that was an excellent combo by Mister <laughs> Mister Welch, because that just set up the rest of this table for a potential six to three lead. Like he's got a little bit of an angle. 
do you just stop here? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hit that one a little hard. A little firm. I think he tried to draw out of it a little bit, but had more angle than he thought. Float it over. Now you're closer to the rail than you maybe wanted to be. But yep. Makes it a little, a little more challenging. Uh, yeah. Well, Michael Parker, if I don't see you there this weekend up in Wausau, um, best of luck to you and your teammates. And, oh, boy. Uh-oh. Golden opportunity for Jesse to make this a one-game difference. And the only the only issue I potentially see is from the eight to the nine. Other than that, and that's not even too bad. Oh, got the bridge going here. Little Cheddar's best friend. You know, it's funny how how little people use the bridge compared to what I do. You know, it's like every other shot. I can understand you know? that. Yeah, it's almost everything's long for you. <laughs> Well, not everything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's got to go a little bit. Eh. He's on short side. So he can actually come behind the 10 ball from here? Just one rail and yeah, potentially two rails and down behind the 10? I don't think you need to go that far. You can probably just float up to the middle of the table, maybe a little farther, and cut the 9 and have perfect shape on the 10 in the corner. That's See what Joel Menina said to you? No, I didn't. I agree, Joel. I agree. Uh, oh, well. They're not all good jokes here, but they are jokes. So. That's, uh-oh. <laughs> cue ball, cue ball, cue ball. <gasps> Oh, okay. I think he got away with it. I think he's okay. Holy smokes. Yeah. That was a moment of, uh, might have had a little fart in the pants there. Fart. Perfect angle now. Yeah. A little bit of right here. and. Holy cow. He did not want to end up on the oh, short side of the... Holy wow. cow, that makes this Rats. like 10 times harder than what it was if that uh, cue ball's another foot away from the rail. Well, that definitely wasn't little cheddar there. Whew. Yikes. But then you got to shake it off and get back out of your head and just... Yep. Know, you know, I've played this shot 100 times. Concentrate. Wow, dead center. Nice shot. Dead center. <laughs> Guess what? We got a match. Yeah, there we go. Four to five here. And Michael Misevich, you are correct. There was plenty of mustard on that nine ball. But, again, he... All right, play a break. So, I'm going to give you another view of this, and here's the reason why I'm putting this back up there. So, what I'm going to do, um, Terrence Beck actually helped me out this morning with this. I am going to do an online auction of all 16 players. So, watch for it on Facebook. I am going to let it run for probably about seven days. So it's going to have a list of all the players, and you know what? As a matter of fact... Are you going to have a running total of each player? Yes. So he showed me a website um, that does... I'm going to have to find... I don't think I emailed it to myself. Well, that's a shame. 
Sam Hooley said he almost uh, crapped his shorts, right? <laughs> Jesse played it well, though. So, while you're looking for this... Have at it. Um, I was thinking that since you mentioned it earlier and people were wanting to know, you could maybe give us the history of Outer Points. Uh -huh. That we are on a player break here. We have a little <laughs> bit of time. <laughs> it's a it's a longer story, but it is not, a longer not, story. Not that long that it can't be. So, Brian Hollenbeck and I are we were currently commentating for Matt Apple, and we were up in Wausau for the women's finals, state finals, and i think it was december november or december whatever it was snowing outside it was cold and i mean it was cold even inside the building so and probably in the booth oh my gosh it, it, you know there's like here it's it's hot in here it's really hot in here but here we're surrounded by plexiglass and everything else you know the booth up there it's just out in the open so anyway um <laughs> I, I didn't have my sweatshirt. It was up in my hotel room, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, um, I'll never forget one of the ladies was shooting the seven ball in the side pocket, and she missed it. And as a pool player, what does everybody know that it hit to keep it out of the pocket? Either the nipple or the what? Starts, it starts with a T. Starts with a T and well, ends with a itty. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, one of those. Yep, yep. So, and everybody, every pool player in the planet knows that's what you call it. So, anyway, um, Kendall got a phone call from some lady, I won't mention who, and she said, "Oh my God, did you hear what Little Cheddar said in the middle of a women's state final? How disrespectful and." So on, so forth, blah, blah. So anyway, um, I heard about it from Kendall. He got the phone call. He's like, you can't say that anymore, blah, 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 blah. So I went over to Nate Mindham's booth, and I bought a queue it up um, hoodie. Okay. I was cold, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I walked back over, and Brian's like, what? What are you doing? I'm like, I'm cold, and my... Or I couldn't say it. I couldn't say the word because I just got yelled at. So I said, uh, my outer points are getting a little firm. <laughs> so anyway, a um, couple of months go by, six months go by, or whatever it was, and, and Brian and I went out on our own, and we could not think of a name for our stream. It, and I, I mean, it went back and forth literally for like, two and a half months could not think of a good name and i'll never forget where i was but i text brian i'm like hey let's call let's call it outer, outer point streaming seven seconds later brian was on the phone with me and he was, oh my god that's fantastic that's perfect that so and the legend was born and here we are so <laughs> that's that's how outer point streaming came to be I'll tell you what, this is a huge opportunity for Dan to get a two-game lead again uh, because there's really no option other than playing the one in the side and the 210 combo. I know, I guarantee I would. Okay, but but there's a couple of options here. How do you play the, do the you cue draw, ball? Do you draw all the way back to the rail? Cut on the two. Let's give our viewers a little bit better. Oh, I don't want to do if, he, if he's, all right, he didn't shoot yet. So let's give him a... Here, here's what he's looking at. And this is why Al said that. He's got an angle that's away from the two ball. I would play high left and spin it into just like this. That's a really a well good played. shot. Yeah, yeah. And you take you take a chance there. You, if you hit that seven, you you spin that too much, you don't have a shot. Yep. So Michael Masevich just called it. Yeah. yeah. Two ten on deck. What a monster shot this is. You better make sure this 10 goes in. If not, it comes way out of the pocket. 
you hit this firm enough to make it or miss it. If you miss it, you make sure it doesn't stay there. Exactly. This is either six to four or potentially five five if this stays on the table. Ooh, oh boy. But he he hit it the right way. Uh, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't leave him a real good shot here. So and didn't tied up the eight ball too. And didn't leave the yeah. I was just gonna say didn't leave the ten in the pocket. So <laughs> I missed that one by Michael. Uh oh. Did you uh shart your britches britches there, Sam? Yeah. Right. Whoopsie. I haven't heard that word in a while. Oh, britches. Yeah. Prop, no shart. Oh. Yeah, britches either. Yeah, well, britches we haven't heard in 30 yeah, years. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not a... We've heard it, but... Yeah. Again... That's uh, another Vincent Didio that yeah, he probably like, doesn't what even know heck? what that means. Yeah. What the hell is britches? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I liked what he was attempting. Um, yeah, I think execution, was, not so good. Yeah, I, I think he wanted to go behind the six and the five there. Mm-hmm. But this isn't an easy shot either. You're having to jack up over the six. You know what I just noticed, Al? So if you look on the stream there, at the very top middle, see the light between the two tables? Is highlighting the scrolling sponsors. Oh, yeah. The back, <laughs> the, the back light from the... Whoa. Yeah. You can Wicked. Really, yeah. That's cool. Sorry, it's the little things in life. Yeah, well, we know you get excited so rarely. It's <laughs> oh, oh, my, oh, my. Oh, and he's hooked. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, he called safe. Oh. He called safe. Of course Jesse's going to make him shoot again. Right. I would. Yeah. Man's first shot at going airborne here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Dan and Jesse have the same jump cue. Oh, do they? It looks similar. Not. Yeah, that's real funny, Mr. Masevich. Real funny. <laughs> to everybody he knows, Mike. Good hit. Good hit. No scratch. Oh, gonna leave a shot though. No. Mm -hmm. Gonna leave a shot. Yeah, com combination looks dead on. But getting it's still that seven. Get, getting on it though is still <coughs> gonna be tough. Yeah, the seven to the eight is gonna be brutal. Yeah. At well, if you roll up on the three just a little. Oh, he's looking like he's playing draw shot here. Yeah, maybe play the four the Upper left. Oh, inside. It's not a bad shot. Yeah. Drew out of it and play it in the same yeah. same side. Yeah, then you can might be doing the same thing here. Roll, or roll forward, yeah. Roll down. Or draw out of it. Either way, get on the five. Just get on the five is what all of his fans are thinking right now. Right, exactly. Got cheerleaders in the chat even. Uh oh. I can picture Amber up right now, up and out of her chair with, yeah, you know, cheerleaders outfit and some pom poms and go Jesse go. Uh oh, this is going too far. Oh, in between. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. That made this a lot harder. Yeah. He the six or he's gonna have to play safe. I play I play draw with a little bit of right and play in and out off the rail. Mm-hmm. And played a six in the upper left there. Or upper right, excuse me. Kathy Crook, who is actually sitting out here. So we're gonna we're gonna wave to Kathy because she was over here before. Um, she's like, yeah, that's my boy.
It's one of the things that I have been working Ooh. on with Tyler. Uh, well, just wow, that is very fortunate role. Yeah. One of the f worst things that you can do as an amateur player is to get down on a shot and then start to feel uncomfortable and adjust while you are down on the shot. Mm -hmm. If you are uncomfortable at any point in time, you get up and start your pre-shot routine over. It makes a considerable dif dis difference in your game and your mentality. You know, the night you get back down and you're going to, oh, what a huge. Yep. That just opened everything up there. I think the pressure is starting to get to both of these guys at this point. Yeah. You know, we're starting near the end of the match. Well, we've been here. A while two hours. Yeah, yeah. It's, two it's, hours. It, it gets to anybody playing, you know, one match for that long. You, you know, it's... Kevin Dorn is here. Kevin saying, let's go, Jesse. And a tough decision here. I don't know that I do this. Is he playing the combo? He looks like he's playing the combo. Oh my gosh, no. With everything open. No, I, no, but no, no. But I don't think he's... Even if he makes this, this is not a good shot. Right. I would have. And look at what he just left Dan. Yeah. That was not a good choice. You know, from the five to the six, honestly, was not not that difficult. I'm, I'm not trying to be negative. Uh, that's just, that's not a good choice. Of I try not to be negative of a player's, you know, how they see the table and everything. But the percentage of making that combination was maybe one out of ten. And the worst thing is, it, obviously, if you miss that combo, you're probably going to sell out um, potentially the entire game. Yeah. Oh. I, under th I understand the thought process behind it because it was, I mean, it wasn't a hard shot to make to five. But it was maybe hard to get on a six. Yeah. And that was probably the, the one thing that made him think that. A um, little bit of spin off the rail gives Dan a little. Didn't get behind a 10. But you know, and, and it's one of the things. No disrespect to Jesse. I've known no. Jesse. Jesse's such a good guy. We play on the same uh, league on Thursday nights here at Varsity Club. And again, I said it before, he is working so hard on his game. And that's the difference between, you know, if you look at his Fargo, and again, that's not disrespectful. I was once a 508 Fargo. We've all been a 508 Fargo. So well, it was a nice favor favorable little rub on the eight there by Dan. Um, you know, we've all been, we all started somewhere. Um, but that shot, shot selection, it, it makes me understand, you know, the the relevance of his Fargo at this point. Um, a 575 or a 600 player would have not taken that shot. Oh, no. Well, leaves himself a long shot on the nine. Yeah, he left himself very flat on that eight ball. Yeah. Really couldn't do a whole lot. So now he's left himself with, honestly, I think it's just a stop shot. Don't try to force it. if Because if you look at it from this angle, um, he could just stop it and then play the ten ball in the upper right. Yeah, Joe, it's, having ball in hand is... 
probably was easier to get on the six ball, but we we weren't standing at the table. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Kevin Doran says uh, <laughs> Jesse, <laughs> Jesse's Fargo is the same as your height, 5.08. You're giving Dale too much credit, Jesse. Believe me. Uh, it's Kevin oh, Dorn. Kevin, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah we, yeah, we try. Giving it. We try our damnedest just not to talk to Kevin. Oh, yeah, yeah he's good. he's part of our Thursday night league. Yeah, we just try to avoid him. Holy cow! Ouch! That was a. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh oh. If you think the pressure isn't getting to these guys. Oh. Al Jordan's back. Uh, yeah, see, bring I, a bring us a drink, buddy. Didn't I tell you? What do we got here? What a match! Hill Hill or tied up, tied up match here. We got five five. We're going seven seven. I'm telling you. I got a feeling oh, you are probably correct. At this point, it's anybody's race. Well, what do you think of that, folks? Yeah. Race to two from here? Three. Race to th yep, correct. Sorry. Yeah, you're good at math, too, Al. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. <laughs> I, I was never good at school. <laughs> I finished with a fourth grade education. Uh -huh. and, and my sister wife. <laughs> Jeez. Uh oh. Really? A lot of people don't know this, but Jesse's middle name is Lazarus. Wow. And what did Lazarus do? I don't know what. Rose from the dead. Oh yeah, oh. Must, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Oh. Well, I I can't remember one rack here that somebody has made a ball on the break. The only ball I think I was went in on the break. That was the white one. Was the white ball? Was the all, uh, the all white? And Dale and I were talking about this earlier this evening. Ten ball is one of the hardest racks. To break and make uh, hardest yeah. games in pool to break a, and make a ball on the break. More often than not, you're not gonna make a ball, and your opponent's gonna be at the table. You know that uh, that ten ball. I, I'm going back through my mind that ten ball that Dan just shot, and that was kind of a pokey yeah. stroke. You know, from from the amount of time that he's taken on the rest of his shots. Um, that was not the same amount of time. That was, right. was just, just kind of stabbed at it. Right. Well, and I mean, he put himself in that position. He made a nine on a long shot. But as players ourselves, we know that in that situation, when you're long on a ball, you just want to make the ball and get a shot. And that's what he did. 100%. Unfortunately, he didn't make the ball. He gave Jesse a game. But, you know, you take you take what you can do and go from there. There's always another rack unless there's no more racks. So wow, that's deep. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's, I'll tell you what. And you thought we <laughs> were just mediocre commentary. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, that's, it doesn't get any deeper than that. Uh, that's, that's as deep <laughs> as the deep end or the shallow end when Dale's in it. How's that? <laughs> I'm running out of... Uh, I'm running out of buttons here. Well, another old opportunity. This, this cue ball might end up very close to getting behind the... Oh, never mind. I thought the one went in there. Got a booth cam in my way.
here is the shot um, that can make or break this rack for both guys is from the this two to the three ball I think I would try to get two rails and come between the nine and the six try to get on the top side of it I have to hit this prit don't go oh did he hit that one good that's about as good as you could hit it a little bit of an angle on the three but it's better than not having a shot at the three yeah that's playing low right there it's hard it's easy to miss that ball it's easy to hit it fat he was able to get lucky and easy to scratch yeah played 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 a little hard but <gasps> oh. oh boy I think he was worried about scratching that. yep Well, the biggest thing that Jesse is going to want to avoid here, because he's going to have to hit this pretty thin, is don't get behind the six ball. Yeah. Two rails Anywhere out. else on the table Two is just out. fine. Just in the middle of the table. And this oh, is going right. to clear just fine. Morning. Good shot there. Yep, good shot. Well played. Little angle going up table. Come between the nine and the ten here, Dale. Yeah, I don't think you have much choice. I mean, you could try to draw at it. Then I think you're going to end up with the wrong angle to get to this eight. Right. Yeah, I like going right between the two. Just make sure you get on the the top side of the ten right. instead of the bottom side. That would yeah. That would be. Uh oh. Oh, that just there. made it. Yeah. That was close. No question. He got there easy. Maybe. Yep. He did. <laughs> Hit that one with authority. What a massive game this is. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, if you think about every tournament that you've ever, ever played in, Al, it, you you start out because it's a race to three. You know, that that first game is a, a major confidence builder. It is, yes. Ooh, get off the rail. Anytime, anytime you take an advantage on your opponent, you feel better about yourself. Yep. And at the same time, your opponent feels, you know, well, I got a hill to climb now. Or, in Dale's case, a mountain. Oh! Oh. <laughs> wow. wow. Drills it. In the center. Drills it. <laughs> nice. Well, for the first time, no, I'm sorry, for the second time in this match, because Jesse actually scored the first point. Oh, no, no he didn't. No. This didn't. is the first time in this match that Jesse is leading yep. by one. That's hard to come back. He was down He was down five to two at I think, one point. I think. Five to three at, at, at least, and I think five to two at one point. Yeah, and uh, Fred Dodge said it er earlier. His middle name is Lazarus. He yeah. has come back from... You know, there's a, a point back, obviously, four games ago where Dan had the opportunity to make this a 6-3. Yeah. 
yeah. match. Mm-hmm. And that was a major turning point in this, the, in, in the entire structure of this game right now. Yep. If yeah. I haven't said it about a million times before, probably I will get there. I promise you, I will get there. I can't thank everybody enough for tuning in on this Tuesday night. Um, and I'm sorry about the, the little bit of glitchiness with YouTube. And uh, oh, wait, at some wait. point, I will get it figured out. Um, but I don't want to end the stream and potentially lose all the viewers and so on. So thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already subscribed, um, get on over to YouTube and share it, like it. Send it on over to your friends. Because the more times that you share it, the, or the, if you're not already a subscriber, uh, do that as well because that's how I get monetized. Well, already are monetized, but that's how I get paid more. Right. By bringing those algorithms all the way up to the top. Well, first time we've got a ball on the break here. And Jesse's got a pretty wide open table other than the 710. Which he oh no oh no oh, oh no <gasps> wow and I think that was intentional to break up the seven ten but I believe is I believe you are correct unfortunately that scratch there wow who's seen that coming though I mean you know make the make the seven ball or break it up yeah. and then the cue ball just follows it in. Yeah, it looked like he almost hit that 7 flush and well, it didn't even touch the 10. Right. And it's rolled in behind it. The chat is just blowing up with Jesse's supporters. Ah, it's fun to see. I think the chat might be split right down the middle 50-50. Huh? That'd be 35 and 35, Al. Wow. <laughs> that would be, yeah, almost, yeah. Your, your mouth's getting better. It's not there yet, but it's getting better. Okay. Well, again, everything's pretty wide open here. Just got to stay in line. That was not a trip around the table. That was just half. Half the table. Yeah. It's a half a lap. Yeah. <laughs> Chinook Pro says, no, Chad is definitely 90-10 in favor of Jesse. Wow. That's a lot. Uh -huh. I don't know. Dan's got a lot of friends. This is probably... No, it actually is. This is the key shot of this rack. Um, he does not want an angle. So after he pockets the five, he's going to want the angle on the six to get to the eight ball without having to go down table. If he has to go down table, he's going to be sweating bullets. Because that is, and he knows as well, that's why he's taking his time on this. I don't blame him. We are not going to read that out loud, Kyle Gable. <laughs> if if you're referring to what I never mind, what I think you're referring to. Yeah, yeah. this is what I was talking about. Yeah. So the the easiest shot, obviously, is playing the six in the side. 
the problem is the angle is away from the eight ball and he can't even draw out of this so he is going to have to go to the short rail on the right side of the table and come all the way back down it's not terrible but the eight ball is right on the diamond so he pick a side mm -hmm. on which you don't want to end up in the middle and right on top of it either like this yeah like this yep this is not going to be in dan's favor yeah oh boy simple safe though yeah Yeah, you can thin this ball and go one, two, three, maybe four rails. Three down to the short rail, four if you want to come off the short rail a little bit. Looks like he's thinking about kicking this ball. Oh, that would be a huge mistake. Yeah. This is a no-no. All you got to do is thin the right side of this eight ball and get the cue ball down at the other... And I learned this from Tyler and many, many years of experience, especially on a diamond table playing 10 ball, any game. Leave your opponent long. Mm -hmm. Make it difficult. Let them take the bank shot. Hit this eight really thin. Try to get the cue ball tight on the rail on the right side of the... It's a very pivotal, very pivotal shot. Oh, no, 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 no. This is... Unless he's just pushing into the 8-ball. Yeah, he might be just pushing into the 8. Oh, boy. Well, I don't believe you can shoot... You can't shoot directly at it. Yeah, you gotta go short. It's makeable. It is. You can probably hit this with a little bit of left spin and throw it to the hole. But where's your cue ball going to end up? Yeah, you might end up behind the 10. I would maybe think of jacking up a little bit, a little mass A. I think I might, I, I think I might do that too, but with right hand spin. Hit it a little bit thinner Okay. with right hand spin and maybe run into the nine. This cue ball is going to be on... Uh, it's going to be moving at a pretty good pace. If you're playing this with inside spin, you're throwing that ball out of the mm -hmm. pocket, so mm -hmm. that's tough. But you, I think you could, you can do that if you hit it at a good pace where you're not, you know, if you're hitting this slow... Let's see what you're... Inside spin, like you said. Made the ball. Got a shot. Yep. Well, this is a really good potential for Jesse to get himself on the hill. Oh my gosh. Wow. Holy cow. It actually, so he hit it at, and I was looking right down the line at that shot. He hit it at a speed. Uh, he hit the nine ball in the correct spot, but he hit it at a speed where it skidded yeah. just a smidge. Oh my gosh. Uh, Dan just fired that in without even thinking. Yep. Oh. He left himself long on this yep. and on the rail. Oh boy. Well, you got to bear down on this one. Yeah. What a major 10 ball this is. Oh, and the cue ball is going towards the side pocket. Yes. Oh. I think he can float past it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Holy cow. Wow. I did not expect that. No, did not see that coming. And like you said, I think that 
that ball skidded on Jesse a little bit. You know, and it, it did. It, oh, it, it, yeah, no it, doubt. Holy crap! Okay, we are all tied up at six apiece, folks. What did Al say earlier? We're going hill, hill, folks, and I think he might be right. Well, let's. We're all sweating it. I'm sweating. <laughs> I think the players are sweating as much because this is. I can't believe Dumper hasn't taken his sweatshirt off yet. I mean, I know he's doing some advertising for himself, but come on. Yeah, just confirmed by the chips on the table, it is six to six. Jesse's just looking over over here and smiling. Like what I don't know what to do. Uh oh. Uh oh. <sighs> Did not want to do that. Well, Dan is very fortunate that there is no combination on the ten. Yes. Anywhere. Yeah. Or an easy combo, I should say. I mean, if he really wanted to get aggressive, he could play the 210, but I don't think Jess is going to do that. Um, and thank you, Kevin Dorn. If you could, I'm going to give you uh, Lisa's cell phone number. <laughs> and uh, if you don't mind, can you text her that, uh, what you just said to the, the rest of the chat? I would, gr I would, seriously, I would. Every person. I'll kiss you on the lips, man. Every person you know. <laughs> Could tell Lisa that, and she still wouldn't believe it. <laughs> and she's probably she's probably got proof to tell us why. <laughs> Wait, I think I'm always right, well, don't I? I just, I'm <laughs> as long as I've known you, yeah. <laughs> All right, this eight ball is a monster ball right now because Jesse has. I'm going to give you a little bit better angle because. I show you from the long view, you're going to see what I'm talking about. This cue ball is going to be going right at the eight. Watch. So he has to avoid getting stuck behind. Look at that. Oh, boy. Very good. A little, yep. little, little white. It was the other side of the eight, and he ended up yeah. very much, very cheddar. Yeah. Well, I just simply, if I'm Jesse, I just play this off the rail, play a cue ball up behind the four or five up there somewhere. Leave the three ball sort of in the middle. Agreed. Could play a two way. Oh. Uh oh. Ooh. All right. That could have scratched off of there, but did not. Huh? I think. Can he see a piece of that, Al? I think maybe. I'm looking at the table just like you are, and I it might be. Oh, that's. I need my telestrator, oh, my t my Joe Biden teleprompter. Yeah, I'm sorry. Am I allowed to say that? I think I can. Uh, I don't know. Think you YouTube is listening? I don't care. <gasps> Mass A. Oh boy. I don't, know. Well, I don't think he really has a choice. This could easily scratch off the three if he does hit it. Oh, kick and stick. Nice shot. Got him behind the eight. I believe Jesse is probably going to go get Mr. Yep. Hoppy. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Back to the chair to get old Jumpy. And we are going vertical, folks. Good hit. Um, mm, that's pretty close. That is pretty close. Doesn't that cue ball look like really big compared right. to the three ball? Yeah, from this, yeah, from the top overhead view. Yeah, <laughs> it looks weird. But it's a nice view of the outer point streaming there. Ah, oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's true. Very true. Not an easy shot. Mm. 
unless you're... I don't... Is he looking to play the 310? Cheapers. I would think I would think not. That's that's the angle he's laying that up at. Oh, trying to play safe here. Oh no, did not get there. <laughs> Whatever, Kevin. I still haven't figured out how to block people. Nobody's saying anything different there than the rest of us do. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's understandable. I think I may have figured out the stream issue. All right. I think. Well, I'm sure I don't want to jinx it. I'm sure the viewers will let us know. Well, I mean, nobody wants to miss the end of this match, you know? I mean, this <laughs> it's a race to two. <gasps> oh, and he's going to scratch besides. Oh, that's... Well, that is not what Jesse wanted to do, is hand the reins back over to Dan. <laughs> uh, well, A, you are 100% correct, Baby Cheddar. YouTube is always listening. Uh, B, Kevin Dorn, um, we're done. We are finished talking to you. Don't let the door hit you <laughs> on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> you know I love you, man. Wow, that was extremely... If you don't, if if you don't know, you don't know. You know it's right, and I get it. You know, but I you got to be a little bit more room aware. You know, well, that's, that's that's there's lights and cameras everywhere. That's that's somebody <laughs> here who's just here to hang out and don't really know yeah, anything about the that's right. pool or anything. That's right. But we were all there at one time. Actually, too. Dan stands most. So a guy came walking through and he he's look, he wanted to look at the shirts in the display. <laughs> <laughs> Walked like right in the middle of the match. Oh, that's funny. All right, so get back down and refocus. Oh. That's, yeah, boy. He's going to get away with it here. He though. is. That's very fortunate on Dan's part because he did not leave Jesse with a, a simple hit. I mean, he can go short rail behind the 10. Mm -hmm. um, probably going to leave Dan with an out. Mm -hmm. Or at least a shot on the five. Yeah, love you too, Kevin. Like a root canal. <laughs> Gabriel Stark says, I, could, I believe I can fly. So I'm assuming that was with the jump shot. I so. believe so, yes. I believe I can fly. Definitely can't sing. So. I, be 
<laughs> All right, so he's gonna kick. I believe I can touch the sky. One, possibly two rails here. Oh. Is that a fall? Yes. Well, oh, it was. I'll tell you what. Hats off to Jesse right now. Um, some would, some would not call a foul on themselves. And he immediately looked over at Dan and picked up the cue ball and said, I fouled because I did not hit a rail after the. So hats off to Jesse. That is really good sportsmanship. It is. And we've all run into players in this league where if you ask them, they'll say, no, that wasn't a foul. Mm-hmm. You know, even all though it too was, often. and it was very obvious. Yep, you know, all too often. I've, I've played in more leagues than I can care to tell you and uh, run into more players that will not be paying attention paying attention to my shot when I'm shooting and I will let them know but I don't have to let them know if they're not paying attention to the table <laughs> uh oh what's she doing over there so Kathy Crook I was listening to you I'm sorry so Kathy Crook is, she's like turn on your live stream sign ah. so, or live on the air at sign well yeah that then guy might not <laughs> walk in front of you. I still think he would have probably walked right, he walked in front of us. He wasn't paying attention to the players, yeah, right. let alone the booth. Yeah. So. so, thanks, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good stuff. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> that, that's a good, this is a good angle on the six ball. Yeah. So now you can just kind of punch punch it over for the seven and if he could get almost straight on on the seven that would not hurt him oh there you see al jordan's comment there maybe this one. oh yeah that's, yeah that's a true story like like the like the third game before the is the bet is harder than i tell you what if you're not feeling the pressure at home um you're you're <laughs> You haven't played in a lot of pool tournaments. Um, I'm feeling the pressure here in the booth, and that's not just because of the Taco Bell that I heard had, had earlier. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm seriously this is, and I apologize to Al because we've had to have the fan on pretty much the entire night. But um, this is this is four balls to get away from or to get to the hill. You think there's no pressure? Plus, you think about it, this is a $225 match. Yep. The difference between 5th, 6th, or, you know, 7th, 8th, and left himself a little bit long on this. I think I would have tried to draw out of that. Leave himself, like, two feet closer to that 8 ball. That makes a huge difference. So now, it's going to be a tight right arm. Mm-hmm. Dan is most likely going to play that eight ball in the upper right. Well, I know he's going to play that there. And then come around the eight ball and play the nine in the lower right. Anybody else sweating bullets here? Oh, this is good stuff. <laughs> this is why we play pool. Yeah, he did exactly that. And... He has the perfect angle, I think. He's got a little more probably than he wants, but let's go good to, enough. Let's go to the long view and see what Mr. Mr. Dan just floated in. Just a little bit of top hand spin. Focus on the nine ball. I think I'm going to have a heart attack for yeah. both of these players. I mean, literally for both of them. Well, I, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna be sad to see a loser in yeah, this match. Yeah. I really am. I, I, Jesse's such I, a good guy. He's fun to be around on Thursdays. He's been, you know, I've known Dan forever. So sometimes it seems like we're, 
you know, either rooting for one player or, or yeah, we're not. I promise you, we are not. Exactly. We and, and I know both these players. They just want to see good pool. No matter no matter what happens here, I know we're gonna have a shake of hands and uh. Yep. There's not gonna be you know anybody that's gonna be sad that you know the other person won. At the same time, they're gonna feel for themselves, but we won't have any bad sports here. Yep, for sure. I still think we're going hill hill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> now, I would I would have bet when we, when you said there's 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 four balls here to get on the hill, I would have bet you money that we were gonna see at least one or two player exchanges from that point. Yes. Just not not because of the, that these guys can't make the shots, because of the pressure that's going through both of them. Oh, no doubt. And as pool players, anybody else in the chat, we've all been there. Oh, exactly. You know, in <laughs> kudos to the players because you know, and I've I've heard it in our our mess our group group chat on Facebook Messenger. You know, and I've talked about it before, but it's been so much fun because these guys have given tremendous suggestions. They have been nothing but appreciative of the tournament itself. And that just makes me want to try harder at to make this even better. So and that's been that's been the fun part of this is all the guys have you have no idea how bad these guys want to win this. I do. I, do. I, I mean we, they we, are Al knows. Yes, we all we all know. It's, uh, this is yet. This happens in any tournament when you get this far into a tournament. What the pressure is and, and what it means to you to be able to not just the bragging rights, how you feel personally, and and how it, how it makes you feel about your game. I mean, oh, oh, no there. I don't know if that was intentional or not, or if he. Did he call a pocket or no? I don't think so. I think he was. Just I think playing. he just—he may have gotten away with one there. Yeah. Because this is a really tough hit for Jesse. Yeah. Wow. Well, we can't really. How do you kick at this ball? I—I I mean, you almost have to go either jump the four, and play the short rail. Oh, maybe he can go. Just don't scratch. That's that's what I was just saying. Yeah. It doesn't. Even if you go, hit it soft. Up, hit it soft. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he's gonna play. Oh, okay. I Not think. a horrible idea. Uh, I, I think he left Dan with a big enough piece of the one ball, though, where he can make it. You know, and given the situation where the six, six, nine, ten are, it's not a bad play. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of traffic here. <laughs> I agree a hundred percent, Trevor. You know, it's it's fun for the players. It's fun for me and Al sitting in the booth, but it's really freaking fun for the viewers because they don't lose anything. That's it. They don't win anything either, but you don't lose anything. No, I take that back. It, you know, because if I was in Jesse's camp or if I was in Dan's camp, y either one, you know, you're obviously you want your player to win, so you kind of do lose a little bit if they lose. Well, it, you got to think about it, though. I, I mean, anybody who's tuning into the stream isn't worried about losing anything because they're already losing by listening to us. <laughs> so, I mean. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I don't care who you are. That is. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is, this is not your normal everyday stream. Thank God. I, I agree, Michael. There, there's no three fouls, so yep. let her rip. Exactly. So I definitely wouldn't be playing to make this shot. You and I both. I'd be, I'd be playing safety all day long, unless you're going to slow roll it and leave yourself at least some kind of a shot on the three because it's an easier safe 
with the three oh, okay. than it is with the two. Right. But I, I that that's not a bad miss. Well, well there is potential here to play this two in the lower right here and float down. You gotta worry about hitting the eight ball or getting behind the eight ball. Jesse just looked up at the booth and kind of smiled at me. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's good stuff, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, damn right it is. Yeah, oh. Well, good or bad to play. Uh, guy, both guys have played, played good. Both guys have had some troubles. But no matter how they played and how we've commentated we're still oh, we know that's we're troublesome sti we're, we're still we're still sitting here on a tuesday night watching pool with everybody in the stream does it get any better it doesn't no. it doesn't a bad day playing pool is better than just about anything i don't think i've ever said this before in my life and i'll probably end up regretting it leanne i know you're probably listening but that i could have not said it better than al holden and that is, I know I, w I will regret that because um, I will be reminded of it at some point. I, I almost About can five minutes that. after this stream is over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what well a shot. Struck. What a great well shot. Well struck. You know, if that would have stayed like one ball shorter, uh, you know, towards the rail. Okay, but towards I the short rail. But, but I still have the shot here. Okay, you you hit this ball with low inside English. Okay, a little bit of draw, a little bit of little bit of left. Draw it off the five. Draw it. Have it. You're, you're going to double kiss off the five and kick up table. We're gonna have you come out and watch. All right, I think I have to go out and watch a hit. So everybody's gonna be <coughs> stuck here with me for a minute. My apologies. Uh, mine too. Mine oh, too. maybe not. Uh, maybe get an overhead shot of this. You know what? I think you uh, are a hundred percent correct, Al. You know and. In all honesty, I think this is one of the situations where I would call for a referee. Uh, Those balls are really close together, yep. and there's you're you're better off having somebody watch it than not. How? What would you think about just slow rolling this ball and hit, hitting the take with short? The hit? Take the short? No, take the short. Hit the short rail with the three and put it to the, push it to the side rail, and leave him over the five. That's well, a good hit. That's a good hit. Yep. yep. Uh, didn't want to do anything extra. I, I honestly, I think that's the smart shot in yep. this. Given the six, nine, ten are still in a really bad place, and four to the five is not simple. I mean, especially not from here. Yep. Um, I think that was the smart shot on yep. Jesse's part to yep. play it that way. Because he could have easily gotten hooked. He could have obviously had a bad hit on the three, yep. or gotten hooked on the eight or any other ball. Mm-hmm. I think I just roll this ball up to the short rail and leave him, leave him, make a hit and leave him, leave him long. I'm glad they didn't call me out there to watch a hit. I'm sure they did too. That's why probably <laughs> why they didn't. <laughs> Last time that happened, I got yelled at. Uh, Everybody remember? Never mind. Yeah. All right, opportunity. This is going to be really tough getting back down to the five if he pockets this four ball. Wow. I tell you what. This is about as good as he wow. could have got. Wow. Damn. Wow. And you know what? Now you have the opportunity to break out the six. You'd, there's no doubt. If he could actually spin this off the rail with a, a, like a ton of low left and come right into the nine and break out the six, just like he's talking about. You don't want to miss this pack. He's Playing the other way though. Looks like he's playing around the other way, around the nine. Oh my oh, gosh! What a lucky kick that was. 
it, that could have easily scratched in the side. A. Thankful for the outer points. You know. <laughs> I've never been more thankful for outer points than. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Now this is tough. So what do you what do you do? You're at the table. Your opponent is on the hill. You're one game away from the hill, or making it a hill hill match. Obviously, you have to play safe here. Right. Right. Yep. You better lock Dan up pretty tight. That's a smart shot. That's it rolled ooh, out a little it, more than it did. Want. Roll out a little bit. Let's get you a little bit better view. See what that looks like. Oh boy. If I'm the one at the table right now, I am going to play the six up table and Oops. stick that cue ball right between the nine and the ten. Take away all the rails that you can. <laughs> yep. He can play the right side of the six and do the same thing and put the cue ball in the back side of the eight, but you're going to leave the six too close to the bottom That's or six too close to the rail. you, you got to hit that perfect to get it behind the eight. That's... Yep. If you're flirting with the scratch there, and if you over hit, uh, hit it and don't get behind the eight, you're leaving them potential. What would you What would you do in the chat, everybody? <laughs> you're in this position, right? I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna tell the guys right now to just. We're gonna take a break, and then I'm gonna wait for you guys to catch up. And I'm not gonna do that. I'm just kidding. No. Um, but how how would you play the shot? Trevor Simpson, that's, yeah, definitely that was a silly good shot. That was so good. That, that shot that Jesse hit on the, was it the four ball? Amazing. Oh, yeah, Just no kidding. Shot. That was fabulous. Yeah. You're oh, right he hit, you it, he yeah. Rid, hit it really good. Yeah. You know, the only thing that... Jesse has, honestly, I think is a jump shot. And I think I, I'm liking that, actually. I mean, you, you... I wouldn't be mad at having this. You you make you make the jump shot, or you hit the jump shot, You your cue ball is going to go towards the short rail. The worst thing that can happen is you end up behind a 9-10. Yep. And not have a shot in 7. But if you miss the 6 and the cue ball goes up behind the 9-10, you have a save. So it's... I, I'm... I'm thinking if you hit this, it, it floats to the short rail, and at least you have a seven on the, I mean, a shot on the seven, so we'll find out. Wow. He did not miss that by much at all. Nope. That was a... That's hard to get over that. And be accurate. Yeah. Nice shot by Jesse. Anybody, anybody who shoots jump shots or has shot a jump shot, knows any any player with with that's an average player that shoots a jump shot knows how hard it is first to get just over the ball then be accurate and then be able to pocket the ball mm -hmm. and then you're thinking about other things about sh shape on your next shot so it's it's tough well here we go five balls Away from victory for Dan. Or Hill Hill. Or <laughs> potential Hill Hill. Well, it's kind of been that way the whole entire game so far, this yep, one. But yep, clear. getting down to the nitty gritty. Eight to the nine is not a gimme either. Yeah, that's yeah, you, you gotta yeah, trying to try to find shape. You're almost you almost wanna be straight above the nine and have a have a cut. Because that's really about the only shot there. Vince, Vincent Didio said, I'd sell out the rack. <laughs> I know. Oh, boy. This is going to bounce away from... Oh, my oh, gosh. He got fortunate there. He got very fortunate there. You know, and even if he had made the six ball, he doesn't have a shot on the seven. Right. I mean that's yeah that's there was, it's almost there was, a guaranteed scratch a in e guarantee, either yeah. the side or the corner. Yeah. yeah, well there there I'm playing I'm playing the bank there on the seven. Then if I was in this position shooting the seven, but we're shooting the six. So uh, Mike's calling it ahead of time. He's saying this is going to hill to hill. Okay. All right. Fair okay. enough. I think we said that yeah, way about, earlier. I think let's Two see how many games we got to ago? six twelve. I think we said that about twelve games ago. Yeah. That's, but yep. I think. 
You might be correct, Mike. I hope you are. Wow. That BM it's it's always more fun when it's Hill Hill. Players hate it. <gasps> That's the absolute worst thing that could have happened was to not only miss the six, but to break up the nine ten. The separation on those two is tragic. Yes. Wow. Mike, well, Mike. if I'm Dan, I'm gonna I'm gonna come out one rail on this without. I don't think I would. Eh, just a simple draw would be fine, or actually just a stop shot, mm -hmm. and then play the eight, come around the nine ball, play the nine in the lower right as you see it. How about we do this and give you a shot at Dan coming right at you? Yep, stop shot. He could do this two ways, actually. He could put a lot of inside English on it and straighten it up and come back to where he is now, or at least the middle of the table. I personally think I would go around it. Because if you look at the long view here, he has a bit of an angle. Mm -hmm. Just watch the path of your cue ball. I would be playing this soft. I wouldn't be hitting this hard. Oh my. Oh, jeez. I'll tell you what, he's not making it easy on himself. I, I think I think I would have I would have uh, I would have stunned that ball or just I would have already been headed to the bathroom <laughs> to clean out my shorts. Well, we would we know you would have missed so it's you know <laughs> After you, after you were able to climb up on your <laughs> stool and and see the balls, um, but this is not a t not an easy shot. It doesn't matter how close it is. We've all been in this situation too. You still have to get shape on the ten. It's real easy to go come up where you're straight across or. Something I, on a rail, anything. We've seen that happen already tonight. I think I would actually pocket this nine code, two rails, and play the ten in the side. Oh, okay. You know, because if you don't want to leave yourself, I, I actually, I like this shot. I love that shot just for the simple fact is it takes having to baby the nine ball. You know, it, it takes that shot away where it could skid or, yep. you know, it's more of an aggressive. All right. This is for all the marbles, folks. One ten ball away from victory for Dan Welch. Wow, what a match! Right. What what a match, everybody! Well, <laughs> way, well played by both that, that players. Was, that was a lot of fun. We had a great time in the stream. Where we appreciate everybody being here and helping us keep this thing rolling. Well. That concludes, everybody, um, round three. That was, as I had stated earlier, was the last match of round number three. So, A, thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, more than, more than appreciate it. Uh, we're glad that you could join us. If you so choose, um, I am going to shut the stream down. I'm going to go talk to the players for a little bit, and then I am going to do a redraw. So we have got four players left we are down to the semi-finals well just, here, just no actually, just leave do, that there let's do this, let's do this right here all right there, that's you, a go, there you go yeah all right so um thank you everybody for tuning in tonight i don't know when the next match is going to be because we don't know who's going to be playing each other stay tuned so this is dale little cheddar lorenz that guy right over there i can't thank him enough for being in the booth with me tonight thank you very much al Appreciate it. The hitman. Mother. Serious? Yeah, well, 
I have little hands. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, little brain too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again, everybody. We appreciate it. Stay tuned if you want. Muchos gracias. Otherwise, Dale, we'll see you next time. And You'll look. find out on Facebook when uh, the next match is. If Keep not, enjoy the rest of your week, everybody. And Keep do me a favor. If you get an opportunity and you see me over at WSPA uh, team event this weekend, just come over and say hi. You know, um, I want to, and that's kind of the funny thing about being in the booth is you get to see all these people in chat all the time, but seeing them face to face, you know, it's a whole different story. So, anyway, I hope I get to see you all there, and we'll see you back in just a little bit. Good night, everybody.